Well, you work to earn a living, but on weekends comes the time. You can do whatever turns you on, get out and clear your mind. Me, I like football, there's a lot of things around. When you line them up together, the footy wins hands down. There's a lot more things to football than really meets the eye. There are days when you could give it up. There are days when you could fly. Now, we either love or hate it, depending on the score. When the team run out or they kick a goal. Yeah, in football grand, the F-grade grand final between St. Andrews and Mazin Old Collisions Football Club. Welcome, and welcome aboard in the commentary position, James William Sincotta. Welcome aboard, James. Thanks, Aloysius. Thanks very much for your kind, kind words. It's a beautiful day. The sun's come out now. The wind, if anything, has eased a little since the uh, early match, with which Masnod won, as we all know. And uh, I'm looking forward to a good, tough game, Slim. Key players today here, Jim, for Masnod. I'd like to pick out, keep your eyes on T. Chilcott in defence, centre-half back. Jeff Matthews up the forward line, probably full forward. Uh, On-ball players are Palomar, whose form's been excellently lately. It's a fair crowd here in attendance, Jim. I'd say anywhere between 30,000, 40,000 people. They're in for a good day's entertainment too. At least, slim, at least 30 to 40,000. they has got a shot on there. At least 10,000 people there in that little sector. All cramming in here in a Sandringham football ground. Don't forget, Bates has got a crew upstairs. <laughs> okay, just a quick angle of the ground. Going through a few players here. Wayne Just get Francis a shot on there. that, will you? Tomo, you get a... Robbo? Robbo, get a shot on the president carrying tracks. Grassroots stuff, mate. Grassroots. But Jerry New must be commended too for if efforts over Mazda the last two years as Excellent. president. They were relegated from A grade. They won the premiership in B grade. Made the big choice to move to the amateurs. Jerry prompted the choice. Club rally to move the amateurs. A good long-term decision, I feel. They've won the F grade reserves. They're up in E grade, both teams. And let's cap off a good year today with a great a win in the first. Here's Kevin King here walking along the boundary line. Very late at Kevin King, very, very relieved. Wet, Kevin King, have a look at him. Second premiership in a row. I think it might have been raining in the club rooms, James. Oh, well, I went in there, Slim. I went in there and they were celebrating, Slim. A couple of minutes of match to be away, Jim. The first quarter, very important. Definitely. Maz not kicking to the end, which seemed to be favoured by the breeze in the seconds, but goals can be kicked at either end. Okay, another couple of minutes here. Be Peter away. Hall starting on the ball. Would you like a better man for the first hit out, Slim? No, very experienced Peter Hall there in the ruck. He's been a Mazelon for seven years, played in four premierships, aiming up for his fifth. They're niggling Stewie already. They've picked him as a key. Stewie, another young pickup for Mazelon this year. Great player, represented the uh, Mazelon Football Club and the Victorian Amateur Football side. Did very well too. Well done, Stewart. Umpires tense. Peter Hall sets himself for the bounce. Umbai Carbine moves in, the new Red Cherry. Down she goes, up to the left. Palomar after it. St Andrews, dispossessed, the ball goes in. Everyone's searching for the first free. Ball it up, says the umpire. No play on, he calls. Comes out, Williamstown coming down. Tackled strongly, quick kick. Ball's anyone's. Tim Chilcott, a la Bruce Dool out of the fence. Clearing kick. Hamilton caught behind, nice mark to Williamstown. Centre wing. Plays on quickly, spearing in towards centre half forward. Todd's a target. Punches clear. Oh, copped on the head there by Grimerson. Justin Grimerson, another young fine. Out to Riley. Riley doesn't know what to do. No talk goes back. Should have played on, Peter. Looking downfield. Doesn't quite know what to do. A few early match nerves. Kicks longs to a nest of St Andrews players and marked easily uncontested. Goes wide. Nervous stuff here in the opening minutes. The F grade VAFA grand final. Holding the ball. Play on, saws the umpire. Players go in. We well, yes, good decision. St Andrews player over the ball, being penalised for holding the ball. Over to you, James. Terry Lucas now to send Masnod into attack. Looks for a lead. I think it might be a bit wide. No, no good mark. Al. No, who's that, Stewie? The orangutan arms, James. Stewie now. Onto the left foot. Oh, no, a bit high, but Wusher in front. No, couldn't mark it. 
and um, they rush it over to the boundary line. It's in the forward pocket now for Masnod, 20 to 25 metres out from goal. Score Herbie, good James, the ball's thrown in. Ruckman set themselves, Masnod caught it out of position, tapped over Palomaro, dispossessed. Picked up by Matthews, snap for goal, first goal of the blind. Great goal, Jeff Matthews. Very important, important focal point up there, Jim. I, I mentioned him at the start of the game. I actually think he's come straight from Point Leo. If Correct me if I'm wrong, he's still got his wetsuit on. Would you agree there, Jim? Could be a very good call, Slim. Very observant there. Didn't very have, good call. Didn't have time to take his wetsuit on. I don't care what he wears, son, as long as you play like you can. Back no, to the no, centre bounce. No, the point to be surfing today, Slim. Out the back here, he could be riding a few ways, I think, you know. Safe point low, not necessary today. I think if the waves at the back might be big for Jeff Matthews anyway. The bounce of the ball. And up goes Peter Hall now, contest, or loses that one, but it comes out, no one really, Williamstown go, St Andrews go forward, Jaxie in front, over, runs it, play. could have been a free kick, but Hawley picks up and kicks forward, no one there for Masnod, it goes over the back, Bear Smith chasing after it, couldn't get there, Jimmy lays a tackle, Bear comes back to Bear, they run it away, Andy Hamilton in the clear here, big opportunity for Andy, could have stayed, he didn't, has a shot, looks good anyway, oh, it's through, it's a oh, goal, oh, great Andy goal. Hamilton. Oh, great goal, Andy. Could have steadied there, but still had the shot. A great goal, Slim. Great goal, Andrew Hamilton. On the run, running out away from goal. Pulled it across his body and it dribbled through. Good start from Mazenod. Two goals, 12, Mazenod. Lead shocked, bamboozled, flabbergasted St Andrews, zero. Back to the bounce. Running for boundary umpires to take up their position. Bounce to the ball in the middle. Peter Hall in the centre. He's got a nice run at this time, jumps, beaten again by the St Andrews Ruckman, comes out, picked up, dispossessed by Grimison, knee to the side of the head, Chilcott gets it, first to the ball. Another player I tell you to keep your eye on, this young Tim Chilcott. Reminds me very much of Bruce Dool. Plays up, McMullen misses, rove well by St Andrews, shoots it out, tapped on well by Hamilton, St Andrews have got the numbers, gather it in, around the neck, against Terry Lucas, free kick to St Andrews on half-back flank. St Andrews now lead to the, towards the wing. The kick goes that way, but all oh, the wind grabs hold of it. Grant off the ground. Handy into the centre. Pallas should be first there. Oh, no, the bounce is cruel. St Andrews guy rushes through. Bear Smith, who's looking dangerous, runs clear, shows some pace. Looks for KB. KB chasing after it. Last year's hero chases after it. The ball races over the boundary. Throw in, left foot pocket. Maslin's attacking end. Bear Smith's looking dangerous down there too, Slim. He's touches of his old brilliance there, John. His fitness will tell today. Ball's thrown in by the boundary umpire. The ruck contested by Stuart McMullen. Knocks it down well. Eludes Greg Smith. St Andrews got numbers for the ball and paddle it. No, happy to paddle over bounds. Trapped by Masnod. Nice spin McMullen. Held on to and didn't have it. Quick kick, Mark. But play on's a call. Dispossessed. Palomar is in there, is it? Not clear. Scrambly play. Throw it up, umpire. And that's exactly what he's going to do. Give it to me, fellas. Clear it out and I'll toss her up. Alright, he steps back now, he walks in, bounces the cherry, up they go, Stewie in front, not quite tall enough, they look like clearing it here, yes there's two or three of them there, but the boundary line beat them, which was a bit lucky for Masnod there, because they could have run it out quite easily, but we'll be happy to see the white, the umpire throw it in again. There it is, tossed in, Stewie up, gets that one, that's a good knockout, oh he didn't commit himself, that bloke just threw a boot at it. It's out there, Robbo versus two, but onto the left hand. Oh, Grimo wasn't ready for it, but Robbo gets it back. I don't know what, it's out of bounds there. The boundary line beat them. But very good play by Robbo. Grimo just not caught unaware. Yes, yeah, so he'll be battling the uh, first grand final nerves, John. Anyway, oh. left half foot of flank, ball's thrown in. Peter Hall contests, knocks it out well, tapped on by Smith. Then he wants ball, dived in after the umpire plucks out a free, holding the man to St Andrews. Right half back flank. Handy two goals to Maz on the ground, gain the ascendancy early. St Andrews don't know where to go. Straight up the middle, it's a high ball. Chilcott sets himself, backing back. Punches away, a reliable Chilcott. Robinson's after it, striding away. He's pinpointing someone. Riley goes back, should have played on. Now gets his kick. Looking for McMullen, those long arms all over the back. Matthews couldn't quite hang on to it. Lucas has grabbed quickly, shoots out the handball. Picked up by Smith, he loses it. In after it again. Over the ball, could be thrown up. Oh, holding the ball. Fair enough, the umpire's... You've got to be onto that today, John. You must tap it out, keep well, the play open. That's two. He's paid red hot, Slim. So I guess if they're uh, consistent, we cannot we cannot complain at all. There's the kick anyway, out to the wing. Nice kick to position and a good mark. Terry Lucas underneath the ball that time. He goes back now, kicks it. Now we're on. We're to centre wing. The truth. Timmy Chilcott looking set there. 
over the back. Hawley knocks it forward to Robbie Pallow, always in front of the pack. Normally uses it well. This time, though, not quite as effective, and Andy Hamilton couldn't control it, and the ball goes out of bounds. Umpire gets the ball now, tosses it back in. They can test. Hawley again comes out. Peter Riley in the van here. Handballs it back to no one in particular. Oh, that doesn't look promising. There's two or three of them there, but he's gone. Great tackle, Robbo. Well done, Peter Riley, and Bear again clears. To centre-half forward, KB in front, over his head. He runs back. His agility should win out here. Great knock on to Jim. Jim Fortnite, he's the coach. Hawks, always oh, caught. Great tackle, but he gets a handball to KB still. KB runs through as if they're not there. Has a long kick towards goal. At, oh, just the wrong side of the post. And through for a minor. Well contested there by Adrian Rogers. Another prime mover in the Maslin forward line. They've got plenty of them up there. Came but third in the BNF in the comp, Slim. So. Congratulations, Adrian. Pull back now, kicks out. There it is. Long kick. That's Ooh. a free kick to KB. Yes, obviously. The umpire saw it that way. So KB will send it back whence it came. Goes long here, John. I think he can get it right to the square. Phenomenal kick is Adrian Rogers. Oh, it's picked out someone short. It's Jeff Matthews. Oh, drop what should have been taken. Cop one too high. The umpire says play on. Boundary line could beat everyone. Throw it in. Geez, that was a beautiful pass, though, Slim, wasn't it? Lovely lead by the big Jeff and well-executed pass by Adrian. Throwing now, left half forward flank. Mazon scoring end. Pete Hall contesting the ruck. The bustling begins. Well scattered by the St Andrews ruck rover. Jim Fontinitis over the ball. Fumbles. Gets it out. Dispossessed. Claiming the free kick. Go after it, Jim. Holding the ball. They're going to be red hot not today, Jim. I don't mind that. No, rewarding the good tackle. I, I agree with that, Slim. As long as they're consistent all day, that's good. Hawley, who, who better to lay a tackle? Kicks forward. Up they go. Pallor flying. Should have stayed down. But it's a good mark for St Andrews anyway. And they'll clear now from the back pocket. Maz not doing all the attacking and lead 2 one thirteen to 0 There's the kick back towards the halfback flank. There's a man uncontested there. Robbo stands the mark. As the man goes back, oh, he's running around, but Robbo, get back, be careful. No, that's good. Well done, disciplined stuff, Robbo. They kick it towards the wing. Jeff Matthews, oh, no talk there. Jeff and Stewie spoil each other. Now they tap it straight out to Williamstown, who go forward again. Jaxie should punch from this position and does. And about, oh, Stewie McMullen shows his agility. Keeps it in beautifully. Handballs to Timmy Chilcott, who kicks it to a nest. Oh, they spoil each other too, and Riles runs straight through. Oh. Good stuff, Peter Rowley. Bear picks up very nicely. To Andy Hamilton, who's creating many options. Great kick to Jeff. Jeff Matthews now, 50 metres or 60 metres out from goal. He'll be looking for a lead. There's one coming. There's the kick. It's going to be a bit short. And Williamstown chip in to mark. Bad play then. Good mark, Jeff, but failed to capitalise the opportunity anyway. Play comes out. Left halfback flank. Play on the call. Saying he's running around. Loose man in the middle. Chilcott's in. Nice mark. Played in front, Tim. Good play. Started off a good quarter here, Timmy. Reliable, isn't he, Slim? Very reliable. Turns on the left foot, sees a lead by Rogers, drops short through Rogers' leg, picked up by St Andrews, going to clear out of side. Riley jumps. Ooh, poorly dropped mark there by St Andrews. Costly errors, picked up by Smith. Riley caught one too high, undetected by the umpire. Smith kicks high. Palomar will be in. Could have been in the back. Anyway, play goes on. Scouted well. Good tackle, St Andrews handball it out. Hall picked up well by Terry Lucas. Andrew Hamilton blasts long. Jeff Matthews in the box seat, leans back into it, got under it. He's come out with it in the left foot, running to goal is Jeff Surf Cat Matthews and puts through his second. It's a free kick against free kick against KB behind the play, shepherding. Ooh, didn't see that one, Jim, did you? I saw it, I don't think it, don't think it was there. Though. Nonetheless, play comes back, right forward pocket for Mazenod. Looking quite dangerous up there is young Jeffrey Fergal Sharky Matthews. Ball comes out, safe hands McMullen. Takes one of, I predicted, be many marks today. Stewie, move it quick. Oh, poor kicking the man on the mark. Picked up well by Robinson, that striding, bounding run. Looks onto the left, Matthews caught behind. St Andrews clear it out. To no one, Timmy Chilcott, centre green. Plays on maybe, no, benefit of the doubt goes back. Chilcott, looking short, finding Fontinitis, who's running. Don't turn your back on the play, Jim. Looks around now for leads. He likes to go long. Rogers is back in the square. Palomara over the top. Lovely mark. Robbie Palomara. Great mark. That slim, wasn't it? Maz not having all the control here. St Andrews not in the chase. Only been down the forward line once. Palomara from some 15 metres out on the right-hand side, which will suit the right footer. 
over the ball now, deliberating. Back in from here, Jim. Yes, I would, Slim. I would. Gutsy bet. Palomar off the shin. <laughs> Doesn't make the distance. <laughs> Try your boot, Robbie. Could go further. St. Andrews clear around the left halfback flank. Poor miss. Coming long. Stuart McMullen's in the box seat. Another mark to McMullen. This dry... Ooh, could be 50. Thank you very much. This dry weather will suit the lights of McMullen, Matthews and Chilgot today, Jim. Definitely, Slim. And this guy can mark anything, this guy. A, and this kick, he could almost kick this from here. Although, no, no. I thought the umpire was going to go back a few more. But still, he's got to be a chance from there, Slim. I think the runner's gone out to Palomar and told him to use his boot next time instead of the shin. Could be handy. OK, McMullen deliberates. 40 out. Oh, kicks long, curving around nicely. Is it come out too far? No, it's a goal. Right. Lovely kick, Stuart McMullen. Mazenod go on to three goals, one. 19, or three goals straight, 19. 3-1, Tra 19. A bit slow over the scoreboard. St. Andrews trailing, yet to score. Mazenod handy lead in the early quarter, Jim. So slim every time they go forward. Every time they go forward, Timmy Chooker just repels every attack. And a few times they have gone forward, he's marked everything and set up these opportunities. Mazenod dominating the air, Jim. Yes, well, that was always on the cards with a bit of dry weather, Slim. Bounce the ball, McMullen's into the ruck. Uncontested, Chilcott comes through, thumps it form authoritarily. Robinson tackles, well dispossessed, Fontanitis is in there. Greg Smith, well pressured. They're going in after the ball, of these young boys. Dives in the ball, Jim taps it out. St Andrew's clear. Handball straight up in the air. Grant Matthews will have to make it and does, well punched. Riley scouting, picks it up. Goes the boundary, looking for Peter Hall. Just eludes Peter Hall. Fingertips get hold of it and the ball's out of bounds. Throw in. Right half forward fling from Asnod. Some 65 metres out from goal. Isn't Bear Smith attacking the ball well, Slim? Yeah. He's looking very well, Jim, in his early quarter. Yes. Ball's thrown in. Peter Hall knocks it out to no one. Greg Smith's after it. St Andrew's clear. Picked up. Don't know where to go. They're looking a bit lost out there. In the back could have been the call. Yes, it was. I spotted that one. Free kick. St Andrew's left half back flank. They're looking a bit nervous at Andrews' this early stage, Jim, whereas Maslin's experience is, is showing through. Absolutely overawed, I'd say, would be better, Slim. Well, I think you hit the nail on the head before, Jim, when you said bamboozled. Now, here we are, a little 10-metre kick. Lucky to be 10, yes, got nowhere. Now they're going another 5-metre kick. Play on, wasn't even 10 metres. Gets around, handballs on. Looking a bit more prominent now, one bounce too many. Going into attack for the first time. It's a long kick. Wayne Francis at the back. Lovely mark. Again, another six foot one Amazon have picked up. Plays on well. Comes out to the outer flank to Neil Robinson. Oh, Robinson contests. Boundary line beats them both. Throw in right half back flank for Mazenod. Good mark that by Elfie, wasn't it? Great mark. Yes. Throw in. Green contesting. Well knocked out over the back. Smith overruns the ball. Picked up by St Andrews. He's going nowhere, but the wrong way. Handball's an inboard to seven. The captain coach around to the right foot. Nice play. Playing rugby here, John, overlapping across the field. Should go direct. Kicks long, Chilcott's in the box seat. Waits behind, taps it on. Someone should shepherd here. Well shepherd of Glenn Rogers. Ball's out of bounds, throw in. Left back pocket for Mazenod. Slim. The, the pressure factor came into play. They made four or five possessions. They're right opposite, right in the opposite spot that they started. Slim gained no meterage whatsoever. They're not going direct, St Andrews. Everyone's in after it. Everyone wants it. That's final stuff. Nice, hard football. Empire says, give it here, fellas. Well thought out. I'll throw her up. Right, the umpire now. A little bit of jostling going on over there. Nothing in it, though. Nothing in it. Just the grand final nerves, I'd say. Anyway, the umpire grabs the ball. About to, about to ball it up. There it goes. Who's in there contesting? Andy Hamilton in the ruck. Oh, we are short. Sure. Jimmy roves it well. Kicks it long. That's a good driving kick with the left foot. KB in front, off his head. Bad luck, Kakarooch, and the ball goes out of bounds on the wing. Throwing left wing. To contest the rack work will be Andrew Hamilton again. Our man giant, Hamilton. Makes up what he lacks in height with vigour. Fontanitis cops one too high. Yes, and picked up a little bit late by the umpire, but nonetheless the free was there. Fontanitis, left half back flank towards wing. A few early Looking positions for a too, Slim. Be with you in a minute, James. Long kick from Jim. Robbo's under the ball. One man goes up and that man grabs it. Plays on quickly. St Andrew's trying to break away. They just can't. Here we go again. The zigzag pattern. The Australian Rugby Union side use this well. Tapped on by Brian Bury. I mean Grant Matthews. The whistle's gone. No. Yes, holding the man. Play on again. Riley late in the scene. Robbo's long arms reaches up and intercepts. Goes in after it again. Another... 
Another free to St Andrews. Did you see that, Slimby? No, I missed oh, it. Slim, both um, two of them out there, two of your mob out there, and they both missed it. It's okay, Neil Robbo can take those. Tough young lad. Ball goes long. Todd's at the back, Chilcott at the front. Off Chilcott, Todd butters up well. No, he's knocked off the ball. Could be holding the ball, he taps it out eventually. Grimison's after it. In the side, nice bump, Justin, well contested. Play goes, boundary might beat them, yes. Boundary line, throw in, left half back flank for Mazenod. Up point now, grabs the ball in front of the, what are we in front of, the Hampton Travel. Tosses it in, in it goes, the Ruckman contest. Oh, they're giving away yards out there in the Ruck, but anyway, they're contesting, and that's all you've got to do. It's against you, Grant Matthews. In the back, was there too. And now this St Andrews bloke, about 45 metres out from goal, but it's a, a hard shot from there. In, he's kicking into the teeth of it, Slim. I uh, wouldn't lock his odd from there, Jim, but anyway, time will tell. Grant yep. Matthews on the mark. Looks very deliberate about it. Ignores the lead. No, he doesn't. Grub of a pass. Mazenon should sweep on this. Green's in there. So is Fontanitis. Feeds out the handball to the running Lucas. Doesn't know where to go. He likes to go for Rogers. No, looking for Robinson, who taps on well. Rogers has got the bounce. Breaks away. Looking up forward for Matthews, who's streaming out. The one hand goes up. Rove well by Palomar, who runs back into everyone. Bad miss there, Robbie. Andrew Hamill's got a chance here to butter up. He's got a break of about 10 yards on his player. He likes to go round him. Drives a long kick from the pocket. Who's there? Rogers stays his feet after it again. Oh, could be in the back. Jeez. You know, he remains on his forward line. Picked up again by Matthews. Feeds out the handball to Grimerson on the left foot. They mucked that one up, Jim. Yeah, they had a few opportunities there, Slim, but... Um no, what's that? It's been called out of bounds on the full, has it? The umpire signals, if it was, he gestured that way, Slim, but... Throw no, it in. He's, yes. Original mistake by him, not by me, Slim. The umpire tosses it in. They can test five metres from the point post. A tap out from St Andrews gets them out of trouble for the time being. But there's a kick straight to Jim, who's been very prominent early. Long kick. Oh, it's Wush against three. Oh, he brings it down to ground, which was great stuff. Hawley, not renowned for kicking goals, gives it to Pala, who shoots... That's a magnificent goal. That was well set up by Jeff Matthews and Peter Hall, Slim. Two of the big names of the Mazon football team here, John. I think I hate to harp on it, but their height is overpowering St Andrews here. As long as you've got those big guys like the lights of Matthews up there contesting, bring the ball to ground for people like Palomara. Been a long time since Maznod was too big for their opposition, Slim. Now the ball comes back to the centre and it's without stilts anyway, Jim. Starting to rain here. It's 4 1 25 to 0 at the moment. There's the bounce. Suits Terry Lucas, who gets a knockout to no one in particular. Goes in, tackles brilliantly. Pressure's up. They keep it in there. Will St Andrews get it out, but a smother. Maznod's desperation is great thus far. They come out towards the wing. Who's chasing? Grant Matthews. Oh, that'll beat them all. And does. And over the line. Again, St Andrews are going indirect here. James going across the ground. They should be going forward. Throw in. Right half back flank for Maslin. McMullen over the top. No one wins a tap out. Grant Matthews is after it. The boundary line beats them all. Throwing from almost exactly the same spot from the last one. McMullen in the ruck. Palomara on the turf waiting for the knockout. McMullen caught behind. Williamstown tried and grab it. Grant Matthews bursts through. Gets his kick. Good play, Grant. In front up there is Andrew Hamilton, is it? Knocks it to the ground. Riley roves well. He's caught, though. Could be in the back play on the call. Green could have been holding the man. Boundary line beats them all again. Throw in. Umpire now on the wing. Father Maznod coaching a brain's a trust. There's the throw. And Stewie in the ruck positions his body well. The smother. Well done, Terry Lucas. Doing a lot of pressuring. Over to Grimo. The scrubby kick forward, but the bounce could bounce our way and does. KB, beautiful to Jeff Matthews. If it will bounce right, it doesn't. Who ha handballs cleverly to Peter Hall. To... Oh, to Bear Smith, and that's as easy as you like. That's a lay down, Mazair. <laughs> Just like a machine out there, Jim. They're relentless. They're running, though, James. The big key, they're running. 5 one thirty-one now to Nort, Nort, Double Nort. Yes, these conditions are favouring Mazenod. They've been caught out in the mud a few times this year and have been unable to produce their true skill. But today, the wind seemed to drop, Jim, and the sun's out. It's a glorious day for football. Mazenod jumped to a five-goal lead. Skill factor, Slim, the skill factor. And the umpire with the ball now in the centre. Well, I don't know what they can do at St Andrews. Not a lot. There's the bounce of the ball. Stewie gets a good knockout our way. Goes towards centre-half forward. Riley attacks the ball. 
Jimmy Fontnitis is in there. Comes out. Oh, Masnott are everywhere. Comes out to Pella, who does exceptionally well to keep that. And back through that pack. Brilliant play, Robbie Palomara. Kicks it forward. Who's there? Jeff Matthews. Oh, up and over, but couldn't hold it. Grimo underneath. Oh, he could have hurt himself slim. They look like clearing it, and they do clear it. Jeff Matthews taking a while to get up. Jeez, he was up high. I'll keep my eye on Jeff. Jim, you call the play. Okay, Slim. Stewie now on the half-back flank. Kicks it long. Oh, they're everywhere. Unattended. Oh, no talk. Comes back. Jeff's going to go in again, and he does too. Does very well. Keeps it in beautifully. Gets it out to TL. TL now turns onto his right foot. Looks towards centre-half form. KB there by himself. 30 metres out from goal, directly in front. Could have raffled that one, Jim. KB, a sure kick. He's got it some 35 to 40 metres out. Great opening by Maznot Slim. Lovely kick is Adrian Rogers. I'm not quite sure. Might have announced his engagement during the week to his girlfriend, Kerry, but I'll get back to you on that one. I think he's missed to the right side, Jim. Oh, obviously, we didn't need that one like we did last year, Slim. No, Maznot go on to five. I think they've missed it behind. Have we kicked it behind, Jim? It's 5 2 32. St Andrews yet to score. Waiting for the kick out. Maznot covering well, doesn't know where to go. He likes to go up the middle. Chilcott from behind. Don't know where he's playing. Thumps it forward. Rovers needed. Grimison's there. Answers the call. Runs back into trouble. Pushed over the boundary line. Throwing left half forward flank. He's been in there, young Justin. Start off at the quarter well. Now Pi now. Tossing the ball back in. They can test. It's hard to see from where we are, but I think Maznod won that. It could have been a free kick to Grimo, and it is. They got him in the second semi, and they've had a go at him again today. A little high, though. Tough fella, Grimo. He can take it. The umpire has stern words with the St Andrews man. Why don't you do more than stern words, umpire? They don't hurt. Grimo now. <laughs> nice pass, I think. Oh, no. Over the headed Jimmy. Jimmy chases and tackles very well, though. But St Andrews look like clearing this in their fumbly own way. It comes back. Oh, no. He gets out of it. Oh, and there's another fumbly kick. Jaxie spoils beautifully. But another fumbly kick falls into the... This is a forward thrust of fumbles. Anyway, Grant Matthews now on the mark. Oh, no, there's a drop punt that spun properly. And it looks like, oh, yes, there is someone out there. Who's that chasing? Robbo chasing hard. He's oh, going the wrong backwards way. backwards again. Oh, but Terry Lucas is there on the mark. Oh, they're, they're going everywhere but forward. They are, St. Andrews, Slim. Well, I don't know what they're doing out there, Jim. I hope they're not following instructions. There's the old Dougie Wade flat punt. Rolls under. It's got the break. Nice. Oh. Lays it off to, to Grant Matthews. Got time. All the time in the world steadies. Looks for Hamilton. Passes too high, could be a mark to St Andrews. Plays on, kicks it in on the left. Dangerous time here for Masnod. Lucas after it, St Andrews first, the ball well shepherded. Goes in, who's there? Robinson. Oh, hits him in the head too. At the Palomara, feeds out the handball to Grimerson, who's going to run into trouble. Grimerson commits himself well. Smith's there, tackles. Grimerson still in there, could have been too high. Feeds Great it out to play, Smith, Grimerson. overlaps to Todd. Todd down the half forward flank, left footer over the head of who's that down there, Jim? Who's that? McMullen. I can't believe you said that, Slim. The eyes are going the old age, James. Ball comes in dangerously. Oh, overrun by Jim. Gives St. Andrews a chance to burst through the centre. Oh, the long arms of 39. Picks in the mark. Bad handball. Running well, straight through is Robinson. Robo. Doesn't know how to take his eyes off the ball, that's that boy. Fitzpatrick. Kick into the hands of Jim Fontinitis, the Mazenod coach. Fontinitis goes long. A little bit indirect, but who's out there? It's over Matthews' head. McMullen sticks up the hands. Grimerson snaps. Uh, that was Hamilton slip. Hamilton misses to the near side. Maslin move on to 5-3-33. St Andrews yet to score. Could have done better with their efforts, Maslin, rather than be 5-3. They've missed a couple, you know, had more opportunities. But still 5-3 to nothing. We couldn't have asked for a better start, really, could we, Slim? I think they'd be happy with that, Jim. Better us 5-3 than them. Oh, you're not wrong. There's the kick out now towards the half-back line. They're really just kicking and hoping. Timmy Chilcott up high. Robbo roves the pack beautifully to Grimo. Grimo looks for a pass. It's a beautiful pass to KB. He says, excuse me, I'm going to kick this, and does. Robinson flattened behind play there again. Uh, John, we get the camera back on Neil Robinson. He looks a bit groggy. There's players to his side. He's copped a few heavy bumps in these opening minutes. I think he might be a marked man for some reason. He'll be right, Slim. It'll take more than that to knock Robbo down. And the scoreboard ticks along the lovely to 6 3, 39 to 0 0, a double zero. Back to the centre bounce. Maz not dominating this game. Slim St Andrews are in more trouble than the bloke in the little seven foot raft out the back of us. 
bounce to the ball. Ignore that, Jim. Poke it all. Knocks it forward. Knocked it forward again by Hamilton to no one. Mazzler in front. Led to the ball by St Andrews on this occasion. Don't know what to do. Feed out the handball. The pressure's there for Mazzler. They're running in hungry packs like wolves of these Mazzler players. Could have been around the neck. Smith's in there. Smothers well to throw in. Throw up. Centre wing. Oh. Signs are showing that we, uh, St Andrews are being undisciplined at this early stage. I don't know what that free was for, John. Anyway, play goes on. Directs towards centre half forward. Alf Francis pushes out well, uses his body and takes a steady mark. Mazzard moving everywhere now. Alf goes up the centre. He's looking for Matthews. He's caught out of position. At the back, tries to tap it on. Picked up by Hall, was it? Who's knocked off the ball. Oh, nice cop. Jeff Matthews knocked off the ball too. St Andrews coming forward. Fotty Nice is after him. Well tackled. Bad luck, Jim. A bit harsh then, umpire, I think. Thought the bloke had the ball and Jimmy did the right thing and tackled him, but the umpire saw it differently and that's what counts. There's the kick, another one that's wide. They've been watching the Eagles, these blokes. Anyway, it comes out here and Grant Matthews marks again. He's been a solid player, Slim. Plays on. I think he'll have to go back. Yes, he does. He goes back now. We lost Dave Murray and got Grant Matthews. There's okay. the kick. Well, the kick by Matthews, picked up by St Andrews, handballs it on. They're under more trouble here than your little guy in the seven-foot dinghy again, Jim. Coming out the outer flank, doesn't quite know where to go. He's tossed into the fence. The ball will be thrown in, right half back flank for Masnod. Good pressure there by Toddy. Toddy ran straight at it for a change slip. Good decent half back flanker is uh, Craig Todd. Okay, the ball's thrown in, Hall contests, arms are into lock, knocks it out well. Matthews is caught behind, St Andrews don't know what to do, ball goes out of bounds. Throwing again, almost identical position. Slim, that's right in front of us, and I could read that man's face. He was praying it'd go out of bounds. Not good, not good, Jim. Peter Hall from the back. One by Williams down that time. Well, Rave gets his kick in, marked by Adrian Green. He just recently played his 200 games, Adrian. First player from Maslin Old Collegiate Football Club to do so. And kick three in the second semi from a forward line. That shows the versatility, Slim. There goes the siren for quarter time. Maslin dominating that quarter, leading 6-2. 38, St Andrews yet to score. 3 I'd say, Slim. 6-3, to uh, yet to score, and Masnod had a very good first quarter. Could not be happier. Quarter best players, Jim? Oh, hard to say, Slim. God, you put me on the spot, don't you? I, I thought the whole side performed quite brilliantly, and I wouldn't like to single anyone out. OK, uh, I think Masnod showed their control near their core, the likes of McMullen, Matthews, Chilcott, Peter Riley as well on the ball. Greg, Greg Smith showed vigour. Adrian Rogers up the forward line. And Jim Fontinitis led from the front. OK, we'll be right back after this commercial break. Umpire bounces the ball to start the second. Toddy's out after it. St Andrews will go first to the ball. Toddy dives after the ball. Chilcott said to lend assistance, but the boundary line beats them all. Geez, that was good play by Craig Todd, wasn't he? He threw himself at it, Slim. The sort of stuff grand finals are made of, James. Throwing now, right half back flank for Masnod. Like to see him score nice and quickly here. She's tossed in the red TW. St Andrews in front. Ball comes down, picked up well by Matthews. Kicks it out wobbly, going nowhere. St Andrews pick up, well smothered there by Fontinitis. Picks it up, shoots out the handball. A bit of aerial ping pong going on there, James. Ball comes out eventually to Smith. Has a fresh air kick. Bounces our way. Kate Rogers pressuring. Robbo, great good. play, Robbo. Robinson in there. Good play. Well called, Jim. Tapped out again. She's going nowhere. Scrambly play here for the start of this second term at Sandingham Football Ground. Towards the boundary. Boundary line beats everyone. Throw in centre wing. Now Pioneer grabs the ball. Has a good look at it. Puts it to his face and throws it in. Up goes Peter Hall, contests well, Riles is there, kicks it off the ground, well, oh, umpire, come on, oh, I thought that was well done, Peter Riley, but the umpire again thought differently, anyway, now St Andrews go into attack with another short kick, they're going too short, and Toddy takes a great relieving mark on the half-back flank, Toddy now, playing very well, going to his customary left foot nowadays, yes, there he goes again, nice kick too, KB out of position, KB out of position and it was a good mark. Goes across to number eight. Well held up, Grimo. That was very good play. There's the kick. Forward. Jaxie should spoil. Oh, tries to mark. Comes off. Straight back to St Andrews. Oh, there was no talk then. There's the kick forward. Oh, Grant Matthews has got two to beat here and will do it. He'll punch it out of bounds. No, he doesn't. Oh, Timmy Chilcott runs into support. Hold it in, Nodder. Hold it in. Oh, free kick against you, Timmy. Tim Chilcott, leg the St Andrews player. Then looking a lot more dangerous here, Jim. They might have their nerves are over. They're regaining composure, going forward. Another 
Promise is looking forward to thrust. Took the cross of bodies. Riley's outmaneuvered. St Andrews dropped the mark. Ball comes free. St Andrews running on the left foot. Snaps high. It's long. I think it's there, James. No, marked on the line by St Andrews. Looking a lot more promising this quarter, Jimmy. They are, aren't they, Slim? They're moving the ball, but that's another goal. He played on, walked around. No, the umpire's going to make him go back. But they are. They're doing all the attacking. Masnott seem to have lost that early momentum they'd built up in that first quarter. I hope Masnott don't rest on their laurels, Jim. Likewise, Slim. Not like you mess rested on your laurel a couple of months ago. I meant laurels. Anyway, See? St. Andrew is here. Very acute angle. Runs around the left, screws it across his body. One behind, says the umpire. Handy miss for Mazenod. Definitely, Slim. That, that should have been a goal. And for a guy to do that in a grand final, I mean, I remember Mark Grady missing one from a lot closer than that last year, Slim. Grand finals do that. Ball to kick to get back into play by Tiger Rogers. A long kick too late into that one. Lovely kick. Reminiscent of the Fitzroy kicking out full back there in Carlton this year. Riley made the lead and Rogers kicked it out in front of him. Harvey Merrigan kicked that one, Slim. <laughs> Riley now retrieves the balls. Opened up the game very well, Peter Riley. He can be a dangerous player on his day. Looks up forward. Another nice long kick. Pinpointed Rogers. Rogers is outplayed. Ball goes to ground. Everyone in there. No one really has got it. Comes out. Could have been head-high tackle. St. Andrews running it out well now. Grimerson gives his players extra yards. Lucky fumble. Grimerson dives in. Tries to butter up. Well made up Justin Grimerson. Umpire now says, give it to me. And they do so. He walks back now. About to bounce the ball. Hawley contesting. Bustling for that front position. And gets it. And a good knock. Robbo in the van here. Should kick it off the ground. No. T decides to tap it on. In trouble now, Riley goes in. They're all going in. St Andrews clear the ball for Toddy in front. Should mark and does. Craig Todd, very liable player in that halfback flank. Very underrated player too for Mazlon Football Club. Runs onto his left foot. Looking towards and a half for Terry Lucas in the box seat. Well spoiled St Andrews. Mazlon lacking, lacking the men on the ground. St Andrews clear now. Could be dangerous. Mount, bounce favours Mazlon. Grimerson's in there pressuring. St Andrews still got the ball. Mazlon just looking. Standing back and looking. St Andrews running forward now. Looks dangerous. No one pressuring him. Goes wide. Poor kick. Favours Masnod. Chilcott's in the box seat. Should be content to see this go over bounds. Tapped in cleverly by St Andrews, but straight into a nest of Masnod players. Matthews doesn't know where to go. Could be in the back. Play on the call. Good tackle there by Masnod. Masnod in there again. Good defence. Finally cleared by Matthews again. Green over the top. Punches it down. That's experience. Aren't out of trouble yet though, Masnod. St Andrews running around the left foot. Screws it back to the centre. Marked by St Andrews and all three take both, son. Could be a goal here, Jim. If you get your hot dog out of your mouth, you might be able to speak. What are you talking about, Slim? They've been doing all the attacking, haven't they? It's just been looking like a matter of time before they've scored a goal. And this is a chance. See, Toddy, though, he made him earn it, didn't he? Jim, it's a back some mate off, Jim. Matt's not here, just lacking, lapsing concentration. Hopefully they can pick it up again and get back on the ball. Hopefully not too much damage will be done by St Andrews during this momentary lapse. A bit groggy as a St Andrews player. Wouldn't you be if Toddy ran through you? St Andrews now. 30 metres out directly in front. Deliberates. Has a kick. Oh, veers to the left. Actually, the player was awarded the free gym. Couldn't take the kick. Must be worse than he looks. Okay now, kick back in the play by Glenn Rogers. Another mammoth kick. Riley's got the box seat. Should have stayed down. Went up. Leaves St Andrew players on their own. Bounce favours Masnod. Free kick against Matthews. St Andrew's player remonstrating. Be careful, Grant Matthews. We don't want 50 metres at this stage. St Andrew's now. Good kick intercepted by Fontinot. He's picked up by Grimerson. Kicks it near. Rogers in the front seat. Should take the mark and does. Looking to play on quickly, as always does the running Adrian Rogers. Goes long, no one's there. It's a wobbly spiral. Jeff Matthews out of position. Should be kicking drop punts on a day like today, Jim. Plays on quickly towards the centre to another nest of St Andrews player. Takes a mark well. Plays on. They go out wide. They're going wide, though, Slim. I mean, OK, they've got the loose man, but they're going too wide for mine. Oh, the handball goes over the top. The pressure, see? And it's going to go out of bounds. Oh, the umpire didn't call it. He was wrong. Well, it didn't end. Out of bounds on the floor. They're not going direct, Slim. Indirect football, Jim. Very reminiscent of the cats, the pussy cats in the early 80s. Okay now, is this Tiger Rogers? Kicks it back into play, looking for Terry Lucas. 
Lucas strong mark overhead. Looking to play on end, does. Going in board, that's the way to go. Nods, puts Chuckle into trouble. Comes around, spears a pass to Hamilton, who falls over at the crucial moment. Gets back in there, they're going in direct. Looking down for Rogers, who gets around his man. Bounce favour St Andrews though, tap forward. Terry Lucas in there, Rogers in there too. Plenty of numbers of the ball. Hand out by St Andrews, off the ground by Francis. Smith fumbles at the vital stage. On the left foot, hasn't really got one. McMullen at the front of the pack, takes it. Onto the left, gone nowhere, no 10, play on's a call. Tapped out the front of the pack, bad roving by Masnod. Could have been around the neck, play goes on. Wobbly old kick out to Robinson, test his right foot. Robinson with the right foot, no one in the goal square though. Backing back to take an easy mark of St Andrews. Plays on quickly, looking around the outer flank. Lovely pass, right back pocket, well run. Fumbles at the crucial stage. Matthews in there using his weight, over the ball. Can't pick it up. Nothing going on here. St Andrews remonstrating, nothing really in that. Terry Lucas just protecting his man. Boundary throw in, right half forward flank. If I remember rightly, Jeffrey Matthews docked that, clocked that number seven earlier on the year, Sinny, and I think he might be still remembering it. Throw up, Hall's entangled, taps it forward, no one there. St Andrews first to the ball. St Andrews going the man, which is good. Breaks clear, too easy, quick kick to Francis. Oh, he threw one at Hawley behind play Quickly, there. Riley's got it. 40 metres out from goal. Steady it down, Masnod. A goal here would be very, very handy. Yes, they're certainly starting to throw their weight around behind the play, St Andrews, which they're renowned for. And Hawley, being too disciplined, didn't throw one back. Wusher now in a bit of a tangle, but they're just pushing and shoving. Jimmy getting in there now. But now Riley's having a shot for goal. Having a shot for goal from 40, 35 out. He's good kick, Riles. That looks like what, what we wanted. That's a great answer. That's the best way to answer anything, Slim. That's action speak greater than words, James Jared Sincotta. And that is no exception. Peter Riley, lovely kick of the football, spearing it right through from a good 35 to 40 metres out. Mazon needing that goal. They go into six, seven goals, two, it should be. Is that right, Jimmy? Correct me. Seven goals, two, 42. Leading 7-2's 44, Slim. 7-2's. No short changing goes on down 762 Riversdale Road, does it, Jim? 760, Slim. 760. Okay, leading St Andrews 128. Maz not just settling down a bit. Hall out of the centre. Nice tap. Grimerson runs on. Lucas runs back in the play. Lays off to Palomari. Lazy handball. Riley now. Looking for Rogers. Gone too long for him. McMullen's out in front. Runs around the left. Lines it up. Not 10 metres. Yes, it is. I'd like to get the measuring tape out on that one, Jimmy. Oh, great play, Stewie McMullen. For a, a guy his size to have that agility is excellent. And have both sides of his body, which you bagged him for two minutes earlier. Was so that a 10-metre kick, Jim? Well, do the umpires and players all stand around like that if it's not? And you can write it down too, Slimbo. Maznot again. A lovely shot of goal by Greg Smith. Playing to the cameras there. Play the, gun, play the game, son. There's still another two and a half quarters to go. Maznot now. Going on to, what's the scoreboard read there, Jimmy? Yeah, I think it's 7-2-44 is the correct score, Slim. I'm no tr no trouble with St Andrews. There's a still 1-2-8. A stagnant. Don't have, don't have to be a brain surgeon to work that one out, Slim. Back to the centre bounce. Maslin's starting this quarter a bit shakily, but now gaining control once again as they did in the first quarter. Peter Hall fired up in the centre. Starts his run. Bounce favours Peter Hall. Try and lay it off to Palomar. Intercepted by St Andrews. Green backs his judgment. Over runs the ball. St Andrews, a quick kick, Chilcott's in the box seat, backing back. Lovely second bite of the cherry overhead mark. The ever-reliable Timothy Blake Chilcott. Goes around the right, out of half-back flank. Jim Fontinitis in the box seat. They're running, Jim, they're running. It's good to see. Yes, it is. They've started. And they look as if they've picked up the pieces. Yeah, there's the kick from Jimmy up to KB. KB tries to whack over the back. Doesn't work out that way. They clear it. They clear it, but they're under a bit of pressure. They've fumbled. They've mucked up. That was always on the card, Slim. And they come forward, Grimo in there, oh umpire, come on, seriously. Anyway, they'll go forward now from the centre wing position. There's a kick and it's a good torp too, that's a lovely kick. Timmy Chook got there, but no he couldn't mark it, Toddy Robbo, Robbo's playing very well. Kicks it wide, should have maybe gone the boundary line, didn't and that's a good mark. Plays on, handballs, pressure now being applied by the Masnod defence. It's up there, Tiger Rogers there, Toddy. Great mark Craig Todd, ever reliable, <laughs> under the trusty left. Sees Jimmy out there. Great mark, Jimmy, who should handball, but no, wasn't quite right, so didn't. 
That's good thinking, Jim. Goes back now onto the right foot. Looks for the lead. KB, I don't like the pass. Either did KB. Comes out the back. Andy Hamilton now with a big chance if it'll bounce for him. Oh, his mind was working quicker than his hands. Anyway, it comes back now and they clear it out of trouble. They go forward now. Now the pressure back on the Maznod defence. Oh, no, fumbled by Timmy for a change. But Maznod through Elfie get clear. And Riles, who is burning out on that wing, takes yet another mark. They're running, Jim. They're running again. It's good to see the machines well old and back on task. Long kick by Riles. McMullen out of position, but the long orangutan arms of Stuart McMullen plucks it out of the sky. Great mark, wasn't it, Slim? I was a lovely, promising kid. Runs on. Jim fumbles. They're lairising, I think. Holding the man could be the call. Play on McMullen. Should have gone your first option. Weeds it out to Rogers, who gets out of trouble. I don't know how. Turns on his right. Sees Matthews lead. Matthews out in front. And takes a lovely mark, Jeffrey Matthews. Gee, that was good sight by um, KB, wasn't it? Great sight by Aidan Rogers. Got a footballer's brain, Jim. It helps. Lovely skills and lovely brain to boot. Now, Jeff Matthews. Jeff Wusher Matthews. 35 out. He's a key to this side, Slim. He certainly is a fuck good point up there. Wetsuit or no wetsuit, Jim? There's the kick. Oh, it's going to drop short, I think. Stewie McMullen's there. Oh, hit the post. I think it was touched anyway, but it hit the post. So the scoreboard now reads 8-3-51 to 1-2-8. Now the fullback looking for options. It's a good sign when he hasn't got any and he's got to hesitate like that. He's found one now. He's trying to invent one. He's kicked it out. No one really there. That's a good mark though. That was a good mark. And the man on the mark, Terry Lucas, on the 50 metre line. There's the kick. Oh, it spun properly too. But no, Coxie onto the ground. Well done, Dave Cox. Back from injury. Off the side of the boot. Oh, fumbles. He fumbles it. And he heads for the boundary line. He, d he didn't want to know about that, did number 54. He did not want to know about that. And he headed straight for the boundary line. That's quite embarrassing, Slim. <laughs> quite funny there by the moustache Greek Madonnas. Get it right, Slim. I'm glad. <laughs> OK. McMullen in front. Those long arms reach up. Holding the man, it could be to McMullen. Anyway, the umpire's unsighted. Cox prominent straight onto the ground. Robinson onto the left foot. Matthews caught behind and taken by St Andrews. Andrew Hamilton stands his ground on the mark. They're not looking when they're going forward. Free man again, St Andrews, Riley on the mark, looking to play on. Riley pressuring well. He, nevertheless, he runs on, runs around him. A little bit embarrassing, Peter Riley. Indirect football, lucky, Mazenod. Nice mark there to the captain coach of St Andrews. Good move of this guy, Jim. Can play, Slim, can play, but does unnecessary undisciplined acts that kill the game. And St Andrews. Nice long kick. Chilcott in the box seat. Picked out Chilcott and found him. How many marks has this man taken already, Slim? Good player is young Timothy Blake. Long kick, McMullen. Cox comes off Cox. McMullen supporting. No one on the ground. Rovers needed. Feeds out the handball. Oh, eludes the tackle. Well, play on advantage. Shoots out again to the captain coach of St Andrews. Going indirect once more. Right out to that wing. Some 70 metres out from goal. Craig Todd in the mark. Another short kick intercepted by Robinson. All these short kicks are bound to come undone, weren't they, Jim? They're just handling the ball too often and getting nowhere with it, Slim. It's just a matter of time. And they just haven't realised that yet. Rare mistake then by Neil Robinson. Found the boundary line throw in centre wing. Be careful, Slim. <laughs> Peter Fitzgerald in the ruck. Contests. Knocked out. Robinson runs onto the left. Screws it around. Looking for McMullen. Very good kick. Very good mark, Stuart McMullen. Gutsy mark, wasn't it, Slim? It was a lovely kick by Neil Robinson. Green running past the handball, ignored. Robinson going over towards the centre. Lack of talk there by the Nodders. Anyway, St Andrews butter up. Handball lays it off to the halfback flanker. Streams through the centre. Another handball. Good running, St Andrews, on the left foot. Turns to the right, obviously no left. Come out and contest. Grant Matthews stands his ground, but a lovely mark to St Andrews full forward then. Some 35 metres out from goal. Yes, um, the kick then from Stewie to the centre was the two short men in the air. And that sort of um, wasn't the right option, but you can't blame the kid on grand final day at his tender age, Slim. No, rare mistake by Stewie. Start off the game well. St Andrews here. Left footer. Deliberate misses to the left-hand side. Another behind. They can't afford to miss with their limited opportunities, James. No, well, being seven goals down, you'd sort of want to make every post the winner, wouldn't you? I think so. Right, Tiger Rogers now to clear. Kick out, looking for options. No problem with finding one either. That's the difference. And there's Alfie. Oh, he didn't get to it. Oh, he does on the bounce. No, he doesn't. It's out of bounds now. I thought he'd kept it in. He fooled me, which isn't easy. And anyway, the umpire now will toss it in. It's on the beach road side of the ground. There it is in the air. They tap it wide. Bear Smith, who's gone out of it a bit, but it beats him over the line and out of bounds. 
Boundary umpire's been kept busy over that side of the ground, Slim. There's the tossing up. They go. Number 39 gets it. Handballs to a man in more pressure, under more pressure than he is, and the ball goes out of bounds again. Number 39 was looking to lay off to the person under the most pressure. Then, Slim. They're making stupid mistakes, St Andrews, and can't afford to do that against Mazenod. Anyway, the ball comes in, tapped out. Players are in there. St Andrews come. Well tackled Grant Matthews. Did he have it? No, he didn't, says the umpire. Free kick, St Andrews. Paying the man, going the ball anyway. Free kick against Cox, sorry. Ball goes long. Lovely leap by St Andrews. Couldn't hold on to it. Well committed, Grant Matthews. Coming out with a nice handball was Grimerson. Finding Smith, who runs back into trouble. Onto his right foot, boomerang. Terry Lucas from behind, second grab play on the call, says the umpire. Lucas Stronger comes out with it. He's on to the left, a clever little kick to Robert Palomara. Could be 50 metres. No, well held up, St Andrews. Jeff Matthews leading, has gone under him. Oh, it's over the back. Rogers looking dangerous. Rogers with a right foot snap. Lovely goal, Adrian Rogers. Looking very dangerous across that half forward line, Jim. Uh, the forward line's functioning beautifully, Slim, and they're all looking for each other. There's not one person trying to do it by themselves, and everyone's encouraging each other. Maz not moving the ball much better, and the scoreboard indicates that. The scoreboard reads 9357 to 128. Handy lead there by Maz eight goals. Can you see St Andrews making up the leeway, Jim? No way, Slim. No hope at all. God. Anyway, the umpire walks in again to bounce it. They're niggling Terry Lucas. God, it's not working, fellas. Wake up to yourselves. There's the bounce. Up they go. Well, it goes forward for St Andrews. But again, the tackling from Masnod and Coxie, who's come on the ground and got straight into it to Riles. To Robbo by himself again. This is beautiful. Over the top to Hamilton. That's lovely. Run, Andy. Run. He does. He looks for someone up further upfield. It might be a bit long. It is. And it goes out of bounds. But didn't they back up? And the numbers there was great, Slim. They're backing themselves, say. They're playing with an air of confidence I haven't seen all year, Jim. It's good to see they're producing it on the right day. Throwing Maslin right forward pocket. Rogers lurking around hungrily. Tap forward. Rogers caught behind. You know, fumbles it over bounds. Out of bounds. Throwing again. Almost the same spot. I think Jimmy's primed them beautifully for this one, Slim. He has. Indeed. Ball thrown in again. McMullen works his way to the front of the pack. Chaps that beautifully to Rogers. He's dispossessed. Out of bounds, take three, throw it again. Umpire grabs the ball now. We're in front of the Blackwood Motor Body Works sign. There it goes. In the air. Stewie working for front position. Taps it out the back intelligently, but no one would there. Riles lays a tackle. Oh, well done, Grimo. You had to go and you did. And that's put pressure on Coxie. will get you, son. Well done, Jaxie. Great stuff, Jaxie and Coxie. And a lovely pass. That's football as it should be played. Oh, I don't like that one. I didn't like that one, but anyway, they clear now. Bad mistake by Grimo, but then again, he's going in hard and doing everything else right. Bad luck, Toddy, against you. Good discipline stuff. The scoreboard reading presently 9-3 to 1-2. St Andrews in all sorts of trouble. Bit of experience there from the first game of Justin Grimerson, but oh. it's all right, he'll learn. He'll learn. I'll bear with me. Showed great promise this year. St Andrews drive it forward. Chilgott's got the box seat. Picks it up. Slews off the side of the boot. Picked up by Green. Handball's on. Cops a heavy one, but keeps going. Grant Matthews over by the boundary. Comes off his shin. No, says the boundary umpire. Should be out on the full. Throw it in, says the field umpire. No, he's arguing, St Andrews. Throw in left half-back flank for Mazenod. The umpire throws it in front of the zebra stand. Up it goes. Fitzy on the ground now, too. Gets the knockout. He's good to have on the bench coming on. Robbo gets a quick kick. Grimo under pressure. Does exceptionally well and will get a free kick. He's playing well too, isn't he, Slim? Committing himself well as young Justin Grimace and a lot of drive around the packs. All right, Andrew Edmund. Thank you. Here's the kick. A long kick. KB in position here. Tries to knock it on. Didn't try and mark that. Oh, a bit lazy there, not as They ran it out a bit easy. Toddy will spoil. Yes, you could always bank on that one. And out of bounds it goes. We're on the half forward. Fleeing between the half forward flank and the wing out here. On Three certainties in life, you know, Jim. What are they, Slim? Death nurses and Toddy punching from behind. Thanks for that, Slim. The umpire now grabs the ball, about to toss it back in. There it goes in the air. Spinning lovely. And it fits in front again. Terry Lucas, who's been very productive today, gets a kick. St Andrews did their best to muck it up, but somehow they did it okay in the end. Number 31 runs clear with the ball. That's a nice kick. He plays on, could be foolishly. Great tackle, Peter Riley. Timmy Chilcott, how did he get out of there? He gets a kick out towards the boundary line and over it goes. 
Geez, that was silly to play on then, and a great tackle by Peter Riley, Slim. I just don't know what to do, St Andrews. I think it's uh, due to the pressure Maz not applying on them, and there's just they, their reaction time is very slow today. Tap out of the ruck by Fitzgerald. Ball comes free. St Andrews too long. No play goes on. Picked up well. It's called a free kick. Whistle's gone. Don't know where, Jim. Free kick's gone to St Andrews, has Didn't it? Say it for mine, no. Sir. no. He's penalising Masnod. You work it out, Slim. You're with their mentality. <laughs> free kick gone. Is that TL down there? Yes, it is. Runs on to the trusty right. Sends it long to the centre. Being closely checked was McMullen. Rogers gets a run of the ball. No, he doesn't. Must go back in. Does. Oh, St Andrews can do himself well. Ball comes loose. Free kick against Fitzgerald. No, play goes on. Smith in there, ball it up does the umpire. Well fought out then, Masnod. Can themselves very well, steadying the game up, using the big open spaces here at the Sandringham Football Ground. The bounce of the ball, the red cherry glistens in the daily sun. The ball's tapped loose. McMullen, quick thinking. Hamilton's got the box seat. It's over his head. Closely watched by St Andrews play. Taps it on well, uses his pace. Bend, bend, Andy, bend. St Andrews come back with it now. Hamilton hasn't given up, though. Oh, dives in beautifully. The tussle still goes on. Great contest there. St Andrews win out. Coming forward. Could be against Matthews. No, does it well. Could be holding. No, plays on. Taps it. Still holding him. Could be holding the ball. Gets it out. Well played, Grant Matthews. The ball's anybody's. Scrambly play here, Jim. I think the boundary line might beat them. No, ball goes on. Scooped out by Smith. Palomaro loves that boundary line. Matthews has put his hand in for the centre. Oh, and McMullen chips in what was meant for Matthews. They're raffling it down there, Jim. Gee, that was good play. Slim by Robbie Palomar. He looked for options. He could have gone for goal, but looked for the centre option and kicked it down Stewie's throat. Stewie from 30 out, more or less directly in front. Lines up for what should be Masnod's 10th. No, that doesn't seem to be spinning right. Jeff Matthews, what a grab. No, penalised there, Jim. Had his hands on the guy's shoulders. Oh... The Vaffa F-grade plugger. That was slim. Yes, good call there by the umpire. St Andrews goes short dangerously. Don't know why they're persisting. Go play on the call. He's running around now. He's pressured. Wouldn't want to fumble. They do. McMullen grabs him too high. They clear it luckily. Terry Lucas jumps in. Plays on. On to the left. Oh, Matthews drop it. Should have been taken. Roger should have handball. Goes long now. Hamilton, well contested. The boundary line will beat them all. Little bit of uh, nerves there, I think, Jim. They could have steadied it down, Masnod. Could have Slim. Yeah, maybe KB, there was an option there for him. Maybe he didn't see him or thought he had a chance himself, Slim. He wouldn't have done it deliberately. Anyway, the ball goes in. The red cherry's up. Uncontested ruck jewel. Ball comes down. Grimison's at the bottom of the pack, as usual. Players fighting for it everywhere. Give it to me, fellas, says the umpire. The umpire now, about oh, 25 metres out from the Masnod. Goal in the pocket. And another chance for them to score. The scoreboard reads a bit embarrassing at the moment. 9-3 to 1-2. We were here to see a contest. You know, in the air it goes. Stewie knocks it down. Paller there as usual. Gets out of there. How did he get out of there? Bad luck, Robbie Paller. Could have been legged. Long kick for Peter Fitz. Good mark. Hasn't this man worked hard to get into the ones and stay there, Slim? It's good to see Peter Fitz. Gerald. A hard worker. One of the hardest workers down at Masnod. Doing well when he's come on. Anyone Lovely deserves... long, long kick towards Matthews. Got the leap again. Jumps too early. Tapped out. Matthews is still in there. Lucas is over the ball. Pulled off it when he didn't have it. Play goes on. Scrambly stuff. Finally, the handball's feed it out. Good play, St Andrews. They're running for once. Let's hope they go direct. Maybe one handball too many. No, good play. Running on well. Yes, there they go. Indirect. Right out to the right half forward flank. Running on. Handball. One too many. There it is again. Picked up by Toddy. The ever-reliable Toddy. Clearing it. Goes inboard. Looking for Rogers. Has to go. Rogers copped it too high and the umpire saw it. What's your difference here, Jimmy? Rogers will go long. Indecisive. Oh, and the end goes the drop punt. McMullen, Terry Lucas at the back. I think the boundary line might beat them, and it does. I'd like Adrian Rod. Nothing in that. The umpire runs in quickly. They're on the ball, these VAFA umpires. Have to wake up early to put all over them. Throw in now, some 20 metres around from Maznot goal. Stuart McMullen's in the ruck. Greg Smith at the back, uncontested. Palomaro's got it. Could have been a free. Tap it out. It does so. Over to McMullen. McMullen's clear. Snaps over his shoulder and misses what should have been kicked. Bad miss, Jim. Oh, yeah, but great play by Robbie Paller, wasn't he? He was in there burrowing, looking for an option. Found one and Stewie just couldn't cap it off. But great play all round, Masnod again. They're just playing all over them, Slim. As the fullback, number 10, awaits his first kick. OK. Waiting for the ball to come back into play. OK. Crowd... 
working the ball's working its way around through the crowd there. One of the 30,000 might have knocked, knocked off the ball. Oh, now it's back. Okay, St. Andrews ready. There they go. They're breaking from the centre. Nice pass. Ooh. First deliberate kick out by St. Andrews and it worked well. Maslin manning up. St. Andrews found an option on the left out of flank. Again, far too indirect, Jim. And oh, there's the half time bell. Which reads, the half-time score, 9-4-58, Masnod. Leeds St Andrews, a very disappointing, dejected, dispirited St Andrews, 1-2-8. Best players, Slim. Best players that quarter, Jim. I think, again, another fine team effort. I couldn't go past Craig Todd for a quarter. Best player down there on the half-back flank. Very steady. Justin Grimerson, young enthusiasm, I think, lifting the sides. Always at the bottom of the packs. And, of course, the well-tanned Timothy Chilcott at centre-half-back. has been like the rock of Gibraltar back there. Nothing much has gone past him. Up forward, Jeff Matthews contesting well. Aidan Rogers always looking dangerous across that flank. But I think my best player that quarter would have been Robert Palomara, scaring those packs very well and creating a lot of play. You've omitted to mention Craig Todd, too, has also done quite a I lot. I mentioned him second across the halfback flank, Jim. Sorry, Slim. OK, we'll be right back after the halftime break, returning to Eastern, Eastern States and Western States 10 minutes after that. Until then, this is the Big Jim, the Big S, signing off. Here we are, back again, all in readiness now for the second half. Masnod lead at half-time, 9-5-59 to 1-3-9. All in readiness now for the second half. We're expecting a bit of fight, at least from St Andrews, because they've shown nothing else thus far. The umpire holds the ball aloft, shows it to the players. The players say, let's go for it, and away we go. Up in the air it is, Hawley charges in as hard as he can. Comes to Grimo, Grimo gets the first kick of the second half forward. KB in good position, doesn't mark. Comes back to Grimo. Grimo onto the right foot. Forward again. No one there. Oh, he drops what should have been taken. It gives Terry Lucas a chance. He's in there. It turns out beautiful. Gets a free kick. Thanks very much. In the gets back, a free kick. In the back, James. Giving himself well, Terry Lucas. Got his just rewards. First of the ball. Looks like the wind's favouring this end, Jimmy. Drives yeah. long. Who's there? St Andrews. Well shepherded out. They're in better position there and kept Jeff Matthews from the ball. Looking for a break, nowhere to go. Finally, Lex to go right, half back flank. Lovely kick, Palomaro's late on the scene. St Andrews steady. Kick from half back. Is that rain I can hear, Slim? Playing up the wing. Could be out of bounds in the full. Bad kick, St Andrews. Neil Robinson, who also has played an excellent game today, and I failed to mention before. Now, experience a sun shower here, which will suit Maz. I've got a handy nine goal lead. The ball goes straight up in the air. Adrian Green under it. Everyone's under it. The wind's blowing up. Blustery conditions. Grant Matthews bursts through the pack. It's a long driving kick off. Slews off the side of the boot taken by St Andrews. St Andrews playing quickly. Throws that in front of him. Not penalised. Palomara first the ball. Off the ground. Greg Smith's in there. As to is Terry Lucas. Palomara butters up well. 
Ball's loose, could have been dropping the ball. Picked up by Riley, has a fresh air shot. St Andrews come out, nice handball, well run. Again, they fumbled, it's been the pattern of today. Palomara doesn't know what to do. Handballs. Oh, um, um, oh, umpire, come on, umpire. Got one on the ground, I'd reverse the decision. No, he didn't. The umpire was blinded there to give him a, a fair, fair go. Palomara, a bit groggy. Wobbly torpedo. Elf in front, mm. misjudged. Well tackled, the ball's clear again. Tunnel ball tactics below. Todd over the ball. He'll trap it in after fight. It taps it out. Lovely handball. St. Andrews on the left. Oh, nice goal. St. Andrews start off the quarter well. St. Andrews now going to 2-3-15. Mazdan leading 9-5-59. A bit easy. Jimmy Jarrett Sincotter. Oh, Andrew Edmund Aloysius. I don't know what to say about that. Um, they sort of seem to be going a bit harder that time, which is a bit of a shock because up until now they'd done nothing. Absolutely nothing. And I guess we were sort of expecting it, but for them to go the way they did, they'd have to be happy with that. They've almost doubled their first half score in the first two minutes. So they couldn't whinge about that, Slim. They'd have to be happy. They'd have to give the kids some heart. He's played well at number 34 for St Andrews, not taking anything away from him. Copped a heavy knock in the first quarter. Anyway, back to the centre. The red sherry goes up. A wobbly old bounce favouring St Andrews. Sherry, Tapped out. Sherry. Palomara running through off the ground. Failed to pick it up. Robinson, one of Maslin's best players. Uphanded, tries to get the handball out. Up after it again. Palomaro's there. He's everywhere. Runs into a, a, a wall of plays. Copped another one too high. This time and the umpire seeing it. Palomaro now. Centre half forward. Masnod going forward. Long kick. Matthews running back into play. Shepard it out well. Rogers from behind. Smith on the left foot. He's held. Hasn't got an umpire. Play on's the call. Smith's in there for another chance on the left. Hooks it across his body. Not far enough. Out of bounds on the full. St Andrews free. Kick right forward pocket. Masnod. Let's hope the Maslin go in with their solid base they've built up in the first half and not squander it. Plenty of hard work left in this match. The ball's kicked in, lovely kick. Over the head, except the long arms of Stuart McMullen. The long, safe hands. Big future, this young kid. Lays it off to Grimerson. Grimerson again. Jim Fontinotis runs around on the right. Looks for goal. Goes long. Matthews in the square and takes it. Strong as you like, Slim. As strong as you like. Reminds me of Tony Lockett does this young prospect, Jim. Big statement, Slim. A lot more heart than Tony Lockett, though. Go easy, Slim. Jeff Matthews now, five oh, metres out. The peanut gallery in front of us, Slim. <laughs> Straight through the middle. No doubt about that one, Jim. As not going to 10, 5, 65, leading St Andrews. A dismal 2, 3, There's 15. even an arrogant clap about the Masnod supporters now. It's beautiful. OK, Masnod now commanding lead. Total control of this match right from the first bounce. Again, Robbie Palomar and everything. He's doing a lot of running today, Jim. It's good to see. Jeff Matthews down there. If he's not contesting, he's taking the marks. Has Bob ever played a bad finals game, Slim? No, very experienced. A lot of experience out there, Jim. The likes of Bobby Palomar, Peter Hall. They're everywhere. Timmy Chilcott shows years beyond his age of experience. Back to the centre now. Boundary umpires in, getting the position. Is this Nicky Winmar's cousin out here, boundary Stupid umpiring? statement, Slim. Off we go. We'll take it away again. Up in the air it goes. Peter Hall not given a chance in by the umpire. Jaxie a bit slow to turn around. Then they run forward now, St Andrews. The one-two play. They muck that up even, and he's been met solidly. Tiger Rogers up in the air. Doesn't hang on. It's in their goal square. Well punched away by Tiger. Good kick. Out to number 34 again, who kicks off the ground and kicks truly, I think, for mine. Yes. I mentioned number 34 before, James. I think he's been St Andrews' best player today on that. I think he's playing Ruck Rover. Whoever's Ruck Rover from Asna will have to concentrate on his defensive skills a bit more and pick him up. Well, no, he's roving now. He's in the forward pocket. Well, I've just been uh, informed, James, that he was a competition best and fairest. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. No wonder he can play a little. And they've got the runner-up in the best and fairest in the comp. Number 22. Red hair slip works every time. I think it might be the red knee band. Anyway, Jim, the bounce of the ball in the middle. Again, doesn't favour Peter Hall. Ball comes out. Ducks their head. He's away. Nice handball. Playing with more direction now. Blue is around. Shoots out the handball. They're running forward. Masnod in there tackling furiously. The two loose players here. And St Andrews looking a lot more definite in their moves forward at the start of this quarter. Masnod just laxing a bit. Lapsing in concentration. We'll have to pick it up. On-ball players have to run down a bit harder, I think. Stop kicking it sideways, Slim. <laughs> Oh, it's a nice looking drop. Punt two. Misses to the right Lovely. side. St Andrews now. Three goals, four. 22. Mazda leading 10, 5, 65. And the Jimmy King Cotter for a scoreboard. Over to you, James. Jared Cotter. Thanks, Andy Edmund. Tiger Rogers now. Oh, he's a stalwart himself now. Goes back.
kicks. He's seen the option. Riles gave him the option. He'll have to do well here. Oh, he contests well, but it was two against one. Jaxie will hit the boundary line, given half a chance. Holding the oh. man against Jaxie. I, I was all for that. Had hold of him. Yep, player was in possession. He runs on quickly. Here we go, across the ground. Okay, Justin Grimerson here. Yeah, bustled out of position. A bit of experience there by the St. Andrews. They've got it now 45 metres out from goal. Distance might test in James. Be a damn good kick from there. So they can have six points if he kicks it from there, son. Okay, now, looking deliberate. He's gone the top. My God, he's gone onto it. Again, he misses to the near side. Lovely kick, though, by the St. Andrews player. St. Andrews go on to three goals, 4-22. Trailing match on 10-5, 65. Take it away, James. Tiger Rogers again now. He'll look for the best option. Grabs the ball. Has a good look around. Moves back. Looks, kicks. Beautiful. Long kick. Oh, no one there. That was a good mark. It was a gutsy mark. He was running with the flight of the ball. Be careful, Neil Robbo. You'll give away 50. Oh, number so wouldn't they love to clean him up? That was a good mark, though, this guy. He can play. He just does some silly things. There's the long kick forward. Wayne Francis. Oh, Maz not three up then, but Tiger Rogers was still full. Oh, Peter Roller, you are hot, son. Good kick. Good boy. Hits the boundary line. That's the sort of kick. That Great kick. Experience there from Riles, and out of bounds it goes. It's on the wing. Or no, we'd call it the half-forward flank for St Andrews, and they have certainly picked up their game in the second half. Hall, he can test beautifully to Jim. Jim breaks through as if they're not there. Plays on, kicks to position. That's good kick. Gives KB, gives all the forwards a chance. KB with his pace should get back there. No, he can't. Andy Hamilton gets there and sees the ball safely out of bounds. It's now on the half-forward flank for Mazenot, about 60 metres out from goal, who are attacking to the beach road end, we'll call it. Even though it's wrong, we'll call it the beach road end because I'm not sure what that end's called. The umpire tosses it in front of the zebra stand. Comes down to Williamstown, but there's no one there, for God's sake. Jimmy there by himself, heads long. That's the way to play football. Wishes a chance there, no, but Paller will be there too. Yes, there he is. He picks it up. He'll look for someone and give it to them. Timmy Chilcott's there creating options. Goes through his legs, but he gets back there. Held without it, but play on the umpire calls. Out to Grimo. Grimo there. Got five yards. He's going to be met, though, solidly. He is met solidly, and that's well played by St Andrews. He leads it along, but the boundary line beats them all. I'm in front of the Esplanade Motel in Veloc sign. No, we're not. We're in front of the Park Road Timber and Hardware Proprietary Limited. And the umpire's about to toss it in. Throwing now centre wing. The big man set themselves. Peter Hall. Been a bit quiet. Later part of the second quarter and in this, in this early part of the third. Mazin looking a bit lethargic, Jim. Anyway, time will tell. Again, indirect St Andrews. Timmy Chook got good pass. Timmy Chook a bit late on the scene. The skills have picked up now a bit in this second half, St Andrews. They've opened up in the third quarter very well. Inboard, intercepted by Robinson. Palomaro will butter up, taps it out through Peter Hall's legs. Tim Chilcott picks up for his umpteen possession. Not looking where he's kicking full straight in the hands of St Andrews. St Andrews now, centre wing, looking to come into the centre. Adrian Green's got the set. Punch from behind, son. Jim Fontinatis goes in, knocked off the ball. Peter Rolly's in there, gets his kick. Clever, son. Terry Lucas caught behind. Fumble balls to St Andrews. Let's him in. Could be too high to Terry Lucas. A bit unlucky there. Oh. Umpire. Come on. That's Hasn't the worst been, decision of the day, Slim. Hasn't been too many from John, but I'll say that one is certainly a bad decision. Anyway, play goes on. St Andrews looking dangerous. A little bit indecisive. Grant Matthews taps over to the last minute. Well done. Play the boundary line, son. Too high. Good play, Grant Matthews. Been a valuable, valuable link down there in the back pocket. Could have been 50 metres from running over the line. The umpire didn't see it. Max Richardson tactics there, I think, John. He used to be the creeper, the mark creeper. Oh, experience, Slim. You can't buy it. Anyway, Hawley up in the ruck. Contest well. Alfie there. Oh, too high, Alfie. Ball it up, umpire. If you're not going to pay it, ball it up. The umpire, St Andrews are certainly playing with more vigour now and really having a dip, but the scoreboard still reads 10-5, 65-3, 4-22. Not much hope as far as I'm concerned. The ball in there, the kick quickly from the pack. Timmy Chilcott with his name written all over it. Oh! If you don't mind, that's sent off. Leave him alone. Not He's gone. He's out of there. Oh, that was totally unnecessary. I think he'll be in the south of France for a few weeks next year, Slim. Johnny's mate from the reserves. I think Jimmy's obviously got an annual long service leave coming up. Somewhere around about April, May. They're probably heading off to the Bahamas. I might get a discount too for the price of one or something. Him and his oh, mate the south of France in April, May is beautiful. I can't... Oh, the crowd's getting a bit tense too, Slim. This isn't good for football, is it? Timmy Chilcott, one of the great players. 
And I mean, that's the, probably their only hope of beating him is to do something like that. But he's good enough and strong enough and tough enough. And with the premiership at sight, will stay on. I th no, he's getting taken off. He's in a bad way. He must be for him to come off slim. Yes, not good for Mazinot. It's been very good. One of their best players down there. Anyway, the free kick and uh, I think the St Andrews player has been reported. Timmy Chuckle going off the ground. Bit of luck he'll be all right and he'll be coming back on. He's running off the ground, Slim, That's sir. That's a good sign. Good sign, Jimmy. Jim Fontinitis returned the ball back into play. We're just waiting for the time on whistle to be sounded. The umpire just going in control again for what could have been an ugly situation. Jim now going short, finding Tiger Rogers. Tiger going back. Walks a dummy well, Tiger. Streaming out of the Sells defense. the dummy. Slim, he sold it. Looking for Palomara. Palomara, lovely mark, Roy Palomara. Goes back. I think St. Andrew's getting ruffled now. Mazin want a goal here to steady it. Be very good. Robbo across the body with a long left foot. Down there, Greg Smith caught out of position. Lack of numbers by Mazinod. Justin Grimerson, no. Roger Rogers over there lending support. Bit too late. Comes out the outer wing. St. Andrew's got numbers again. Jim Fonnyneis in there. Tries to lay the tackle. Ball beats him over bounds. Throw in centre wing. The umpire now about to throw it in. It's on the centre wing now. St Andrews definitely showing more spirit now, but wouldn't you? 43 points down in a grand final halfway through the third quarter. Robbo up over the top, playing a great game, but it's tapped back by St Andrews towards the boundary line. They get past Jaxie and handball it back, but Fitzy on the ground to replace Timmy Chilcott. Sees the ball not safely over the boundary line as yet. Now it is. It's on the full. I don't know whose boot that's come off. St Andrews player, James. No, no, no the umpire's... No, yes, that's right. St Andrews go forward. Toddy's given his man five yards. The umpire's picked out a charity from there. Incredible. Anyway, they've gone. They've got a few loose men back now, but no, they're going to have to come back. <coughs> they're going to have to come back. So the umpire said to kick over your mark. So here he goes. He tries again. Looking for an option. Not much coming, so he kicks high. Up there, Stewie McMullen. Off his chest. Out of bounds. Scoreboard reads 10-5-65, Masnod lead St Andrews 3-4-22 in this F grade grand final for 1989. The umpire tosses the ball in. Who's in there? Stewie McMullen's jostled out of it. Could have been pushed in the back. Play on Ned Dopey Ruckman gets it, kicks it out of bounds. Boudreau umpire gets the ball again. Gain 10 metres in the dope, but still. Umpire gets it again. Holds it aloft, kisses it, throws it over his head. There he is again. Up they go. Robbie Palomar was unusually at the bottom of that pack. But no, there's Stewie McMullen doing the roving out of bounds. Number 39 hadn't moved an inch. Fitzy now contesting the ruck. Umpire about to throw. It's about 15 metres around from their point post. There it is. Someone's lost a boot out there too. Oh, the dope picks it up. Kicks, I tell you what. Oh no, it's a point. Oh, that would have been interesting. But it's just a point, so it goes on to 3 5 23 to 10 5 65. And it was Craig Todd that had lost his boot. There's the kick out, beautiful by Tiger to Jimmy. Jimmy streams away to the 50 meter line, kicks it. Beautiful kick. Hamo drops it, drops what should have been taken, gets back after it. That man's under pressure now. They tackle and chase hard. There it is, kick forward. Oh, well played, 34. Taps it on. He's now made the loose mid. Bad handball, back behind him. Great tackle, Pella. Pressure him, not as pressure him. No, they run through again. Robbie Palomar off the carpet very cleverly. That puts them out of the pressure zone for a minute, but they're going to come straight back in. That's a lovely pass, and 14 has dropped it, if you don't mind. <laughs> like it wasn't a dozen eggs, 14, that's all I can say. Anyway, the ball spilled over bounds, thrown from the boundary umpire. Right half forward, flink for St Andrews. Mazinod still yet to go forward with any real direction this quarter. McMullen in the ruck, bustled out again by the dope. Ball comes clear, greens over it, taps it out. Lovely snap to the near side for one behind. St Andrews going to 3-6-24. Mazinod leading in total control of this match, 10-5-65. I think they're falling across that half-back line. Jim, anyway, Tigers elected the torp. He's let it rip two, straight into the hands of no. It's gone over there to McMullen, right out to the centre wing. He's got the run of the ball. McMullen's after it, tries to gather it in, taps it out. Well pressured. Mazinod are in there. St Andrews going with a lot more vigour this quarter. Ball slid out again, holding the ball against Mazinod. Fair enough, he's been consistent. You must tap it out. The umpire's trying to keep this game nice and open, which will suit Mazinot down to the ground. I thought that was a bit tough, Slim. Ball comes back. Jaxie's in the front spot. Bustled out well by 22. The runner, Preston Ferris, in the comp. Lays it off. On the left foot. Hasn't got a left foot. Toddy. Oh, Tiger Rogers stands his ground. Stands his ground well. 34 again. Third goal of the quarter. 34 coming to prominence now. John showing his skills. Three good goals by him. Oh, yes. 
very good footballer. He knows where to go. He knows where the ball's going to go, so he meets it there and does the rest. But the moment the scoreboard reads 4 6 30 to 10 5 65, and they have really shown a lot of spirit this quarter. Um, St Andrews are having a real dip, and the, ru the runner out now with Grant Matthews having a word to him. I don't know. I think is there a move? No, no. Grant's staying in the back pocket. I think it'll be a bit harsh to take him off. He's a very good footballer, that 34, and he's changing Rover. So we'll just take it away from here. Pal has also been very effective for us. <coughs> the ball in the air now. Fitzy up high, but doesn't get that one. Coxie's in there. Play on, the umpire calls. Fitzy off the... No, he picks it up. He has time to pick it up and steady and send it to Hamo, who kicks forward. That could bounce through. Oh, no, it bounces the wrong way. Jeff Matthews showing his pace and agility. Gets back there, but no, it rushes through for a behind. 10 6 to 3 6 to 4 6 30. That should reach, shouldn't it, Slim? I think so, Jimmy. Thanks, Slim. They're looking for options. Let's see if they get their options easier now. Oh, yeah, he didn't hesitate quite as long. And he found his mark, too. They are a different side after half time, Slim. We expected it, though, didn't we? Greg Smith's been very quiet after a, a handy early quarter, Jim. Anyway, the players come on the out of flank. 34 gains yet another possession. 51's clear. Maslin aren't running down. They're not concentrating. The wind eludes him. P knocked off the ball by David Cox very well. St Andrews in there. Don't quite know what to do. Being pressured by Mazenod. 51 throws his weight around. Cox taps it out well to Green. Green's over the ball. Shoots out the handball. Looking for Hamilton. Cops it too high as Riley. Free kick back to Peter Riley, is it? No. Adrian Green. Waiting now for Adrian Green to send the ball back into play. Mazenod will stop running. Hopefully they can pick it up again. Jaxie going the flank, looking for Peter Hall who comes out. It's over his head, over Adrian, Green, Adrian Rogers' head. Tapped on by Terry Lucas. Adrian Rogers is after it. Peter Fitzgerald's in the prime seat and takes drops what should have been taken. Bad mistake. Picked up well by the St Andrews captain coach. So, Tiger Rogers punch it down well. There's no Rovers down there. Knocked on again to Rogers, who taps it over to McMullen. Gets the bounce well. Go the boundary. No. Well, there's two players here. Grant Matthews should get it if he can and run. Grant Matthews gets a favourable bounce. Steady's now on the right. Looking down for Adrian Rogers. Lovely pass to Adrian Rogers, moving well down the half forward line. Hopefully they can create something from this. Rogers now goes to the centre, looking for Matthews. It's over his head. Peter Hall's in there roving like a little fella. Hands it off to Smith. Smith into the open goal and bangs it through for what should have been a goal. Bad, bad miss, Greg Smith. It was a good setup though, Slim, wasn't it? Good move forward. Good move forward, James. Anyway, the scoreboard goes on to 10 6 66, leading St Andrews 4 6 30. All right, and the St Andrews man about to bring it back into play. The, the nods, I think, need a goal just to steady a little bit. St Andrews doing a lot of the attacking now. There's a kick out, and again, see, they're finding unmarked men now, which in the first half they weren't finding. There's a kick straight down KB. Oh, no, well done, 30. Well done, Robbie Palomar, but it breaks free. Number eight fumbles, which is a. Oh, look at the chasing from KB. He overruns it. But St Andrews running well now. There's a handball out there. It's into the pack. Oh, great pick up, Peter Fitz. Great kick pick up and a good kick. It's gained 40 metres for Masnod. It's still running free. Someone finally gets there. Bear tries to smother. Good play. It's up in the air. Punch Fitz. And he does that. Pella down at the bottom of a pack. Free kick against Pella, I think. And he's caught one as well. Oh, I don't know about that umpire. Anyway, it goes back to St Andrews. And now here they go. A long kick forward towards centre half forward. All the half forward flank. The wind grabs hold of it. Stewie's up high. Doesn't mark. Comes off the hands. Looking for crummers. There's a crummer there. Who was that crummer? It was Robbo. Robbo heads for the boundary. The umpire says, toss it. I'll toss it in. It's right in front of the scoreboard, which reads wrongly, I think. I think it's 5-6 to 10-6. Would that be right, Slim? I think you're right, Jim. Thank you. There it is, a knockout. And I think that's going to beat them all over the bill. Oh, could be a free kick to Toddy. No, the umpire says toss it in. The umpire grabs the ball. A bit of rain around again. Can only help the Nodders cause at this stage. Better be five up than five down. I think the wind's picked up a bit here, Jim. That's why it's down to the game's dropped. Anyway, the ball's tossed back in. Knocked out by Fitzgerald. Riley's in there. Beaten by St Andrews. They're more committed this half. Knocked out. St Andrews pick up, shoot it out straight to McMullen, who doesn't quite know what to do, but get rid of it. Well, finally lays off the handball to Todd, Todd onto the trusty left, bounce favours Mazenod, picked up by Grimace and knocked over bounds, thrown in, centre wing, slightly favouring St Andrews' scoring end. I think the Nodders have stopped running, Jim. Combination of that and St Andrews are more desperate. 
Yeah, but, uh, they might be a bit lackadaisical at the moment. The Fitzgerald nods. grabs it out of the ruck, kicks it forward again. It's hard work out there. Rogers overruns it. Grimson showing a turn of dash, picked up there by St Andrews, who beats him to the ball. Turns on the left foot, screws it back. Finds a play, picks up well. Again, another left footer. Green should mark this. Leave it's a call from Cox. He spills what he should have taken. He's on the left, not looking where he's kicking. St Andrews come bursting through. A lot of vigour. Well met there by Cox. Could have been too high. Yes, it was. The umpire picked it up. Could be 50. No. Too high. St Andrews got it. Coming forward towards the right half foot flank. Screws it across towards the red knee band man. Matthews over the top. Really a lovely mark. He overruns it. Francis burrowing it forward. Oh, could have been a fresh air kick, no play on, says a call. Over the shoulder, no, keep going, Riley's in there. St Andrews fumbling. Terry Lucas decides to take it up himself, attacks the ball, but he overruns it. St Andrews got a ton of time, screws it over his head, they're in the box seat. Well done, Fitzy. Fitzy over the top, well butted up by Francis, who kicks forward. They're not, no options in the centre, though, Jim. No, no, they're setting Saint the wall An across beautifully. St Andrews now just easily out to the St Andrews best man in the ground, 34, who plays on quickly. Stupid little kick, St Andrews stop. McMullen oh. overruns it. Trouble here for Mazenod. Francis will want to get up there quick. Green's there. He'll be happy to run it over bounds. No, sets up Elf. The bounce beats everyone. Scrambly play there by both sides. Not pretty to watch. All the less that's grand final football, James. Throw in 50 metre line by Nicky Wimar's cousin. With ball, tats. Ball throwing in. McMullen gets a lovely tap. But again, Mazenod got no one on the ball. On ball players are a lot quieter this quarter. Peter Hall knocks on. Greg Smith screws it over. Too high. Looking for Grant Matthews. He set him up. Matthews doesn't take his eyes off the ball. He's in there still. Going forward. Could have been legged. Play on, says the umpire. He's still after it. Grant Matthews still in there. Could have given it a free. No. And Hamilton knocks it over the boundary line. Good play. Good gutsy play there by both sides. Throw in centre wing. That was. It was great commitment on the behalf of Hamo and uh, Grant Matthews. They only had eyes for one thing. That's the red cherry the umpire just threw in. And here it goes. Hawley off the ground. Gains a good 40 metres for the side. It's now on Maznot's half forward flank, and that's on the full for mine off St Andrews. And KB will take this kick. Yes, great call, Jim. 50 metres out now. Oh, that should be... Oh, you can't get away with that. You can't get away with that. Um, what do you... Oh, a bit of confusion out there. It's going back to how I first called it. I don't know what the confusion was for as far as I'm concerned. It gets back to KB now. No? Oh, uh, Anyway, they kick it in. No, I thought, yeah. It's gone Mazon's white agent, Rogers, like we initially called it anyway. Rogers got it now, after that little bit of confusion. We. 50 metres out. I called it, Jim. I'll claim it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Rogers now. Lovely long kick. Back to the pack of Pal Calamara. It's gone oh. too far for him, even. Oh, he's upended. In the side, though, and the ball goes out of bounds. Thrown in. Right forward pocket for Mas Left forward pocket for Mazenod. They need a score here, Jim. Let's hope. The umpire now claims the ball. Holds it to his chest. Back. Feet ready. Over the top. Beautiful. Hawley contesting. No, over the top. Dope gets it. But now it comes back to Robbie Pala Pala. God, he's at the bottom of every pack. He gets hands to it, but out of bounds it goes. They've certainly shown a lot more this quarter, St Andrews, but they'd need to. The umpire again grabs the ball. About to throw it in. In it goes. That's the dead pocket over there. Hawley in there, contesting hard as usual. Comes out. St Andrews have the numbers there. They overrun it. Because they had two there, they were able to back each other up, but the ball still ended up out of bounds. They should have done better from that, Slim. Palomar in there again, Jim pressuring them. Best man on the ground for Maznod. Yes. Could, could be telling Timmy Chilcott going off. Let's hope he's all right to come back on. The ball's thrown in. Peter Hall to contest. Uses his weight well. Taps it out to Smith, who's pressured. Gets a quick kick. St Andrews in front. They overrun it. Rogers is in there. Ball looking through. St Andrews trapped in well. The ball's now tapped out. They gain possession. Turned on the right foot. Lays off a nice handball. They're running, Jim. They're running. Ball sent long. Long, long. Stuart McMullen's in the box seat here. Hands go up and a lovely mark he pulls down. He's got sticky fingers, this young kid. I like the way he moves. McMullen now. Right half back flank. Left half back flank. Drives it in. Hamilton takes a strong mark, stands his ground. Let's hope Mazenot can make something of this forward thrust. Hamilton not quite knowing where to go, so he goes long. Good option. At the back is Terry Lucas. Jeff Matthews spoiled off the hands. Greg Smith. This time, see if he can do it, son. And he does. He bangs it through. Missed the last one. There's not too often Greg Smith will miss two running to goal, Jim. Wasn't that beautiful roving? Slim, he took that at full pace. Certainly was. Mazenot now going to 11 6 72, and we feel that the scoreboard's wrong, and they're leading St Andrews 5 6 36. Halfway through with the all important third term here. Yes, it's 11 6, isn't it, Slim, or 10 6? 
11 6 72. I called, I called 72, Jim. Yeah, I wasn't sure, Slim, that's all, because it hasn't changed at all. Back to the bounce of the ball. I wasn't having a go, Slim. The ball goes up. Erratic bounce. Fitzgerald's in there contesting. Off the hands of Matthews. Robinson's been quiet. Decked after he kicks it downfield. Thank you very much. Rogers, Rogers takes a kick. And he'll drive this right into the attacking zone for Mazenoid. Well, Adrian Rogers looks for a lead. There's two on, There's two on Jeff Matthews. Jeff Matthews has got it. He's up. One oh. hand. Mark the day, Jeff Matthews. What a grab. There were two on him, Slim, from... Before KB had it, he stuck up the wetsuit and pulled it in. A specky. Jeffrey Matthews now. Usually normal kicker goals to test him. Good 40 metres out in a gusty wind. Matthews looks very deliberate. Stabs at it. Doesn't make the distance. On the line, Terry Lucas. Wow. Poor defence there by St Andrews. Terry Lucas, experience on the line in front. And he's got it now some three metres out from goal. The angle shouldn't worry him. Puts it straight through the middle, Jim. Mazon now going to, is it 12, 6, 78? Are they a bit behind up there on the scoreboard? They are Jim? a bit behind, Slim. Trailing, Maz, tra leading St Andrews, 5, 6, 36. They're nice. three goals behind up there, Slim. A nice seven-goal lead there to Maznod. Mazon now gaining his ascendancy again, just setting up to St Andrews. Start off the quarter very well. A lot of vigour, a lot more direction there play. But a handy two goals there to Maznod. Yep, they're throwing everything at, at Maznod now. And I think Maznod are just answering the challenge beautifully. And if I was a St Andrews man, official, player, supporter, I'd be starting to be very disheartened and be definitely looking to recruit a few more for next year because I'll need them. Umpire now grabs the ball. Walks in. We've got P Peter Fitzgerald on the ball. In the air it goes. Fitzy will run at it hard and he wins the knockout. A good knockout to it. Favours Masnot five metres. Comes to Robber who has had a bundle of kicks. He's caught this time. St Andrews get the ball back, but it's knocked out of his hands. The boots go in, but it comes back to Grant, who got a shocking bounce. Jaxie there. Saw Riles out the corner of his eye. And how many times have we seen that? Riles now to Stewie. Stewie, a long handball to Coxie. Coxie will attack it hard and does. And heads towards the boundary. The boundary line boots them all. And the umpire will throw it in right in front of the Masnod Brains Trust. Timmy Chalkot up walking around, which is a good sign, Slim. Certainly is. The ball goes in. Bad throw in. St Andrews butter up. They've got possession. Well pressured by Mazenod. Kick comes forward. Bad bounce St Andrews. McMullen should gain control. Too slow. Dispossessed. Play on the call. Green with years of experience. Knocks it out of bounds. Throw in. Left half forward flank St Andrews. The runner's out for Mazenod. I don't know who he's out to see. but No. Oh. Fitzgerald's caught out of position. Ball's tapped clear. Riley's well in there. So done, is Ball goes clear again. There's pressure on here. Green meets him solidly, ball goes out of bound. Thrown in almost the same spot, left half forward flank for St Andrews. Fitzgerald can test the ruck. He's generated a bit of life in there since he's come on, Jimmy. Anyway, ball's tapped clear, Riley's blinded, misses it. Rogers is behind unusually, knocks it clear though, nonetheless. They butter up well, 34 for his fourth goal for the quarter. Lovely touch of class by number 34, Jim. Oh, he can play, this guy's a good player, Slim. That was a beautiful goal. For a right footer, that was a sensational goal, Slim. That brings the scoreboard, which we feel is 12-6 to now 6-6. Six, six. Would that be right, Slim? Yes, I think that's right, James. Well picked up. So the ball on its way back. But St Andrews are having, showing a lot more fight this quarter. But Maz not have answered thus far and hopefully will continue to do so. The umpire now with the ball. About to toss it in. Jacksy to centre-half back in, in Timmy Chilcott's place. Fitzy in the ruck, in he goes. Oh, great knock. Oh, bad luck. He got a great ride then. Stewie McMullen should mark, does, plays on, and gets around and away with it. Onto the left foot. Good play, Stewie McMullen. Out for looking for Robbie Palomara, but the boundary line will beat him. And that it does. And over the boundary line it goes. It's on the half forward flank for Maznod, about 70 metres out from goal. Maznod, you know, a steady in goal would be nice. I mean, I'd like to go in, you know, a good six to seven goals up myself at three quarter time. There's a tossing. In they go. Fitzy up there again. Riles had a whack at it. Didn't connect. Comes out. That's off the ground. That suits us if there's someone there. There's the three-quarter time bell. That was a much more even quarter. Slim, what do you think? Yes, I think St Andrews showed a lot more endeavour there, uh, John. And Maslin caught a bit flat foot earlier on that quarter. St Andrews threatened to get within, say, four goals. And Maslin just steadied the boat at the end of the quarter. A lot of experience, superior skill. And go into three quarter time with I think which is a seven goal break. Six goal, I think, Slim. Six goal break. I think they should be able to do it from here, James. They've done all the hard work. I, my prediction is Mazel will pull away this quarter and win by ten goals. Be nice, wouldn't it, Slim? Let's hope we're correct. Anyway, we'll be back soon.
All right, welcome back for this all-important last quarter of the season for both sides in 89. Hopefully it'll end up a very happy occasion in 30 minutes for Masnod. Slim, you were down there at the huddles. What did the coaches have to say? Yeah, well, Masnod's coach Jim Fontenaita said, fellas, no use throwing it away from here. We've done all the hard work. We deserve to be on top. Let's not squander the seven-goal victory. Let's let's try and increase it out to ten. I went over to St Andrews. They wouldn't let me near Jim. They chewed me away. Get away, they said. So I couldn't hear what they were going to say. But the very disappointed and ejected St Andrews coach, as Jim just said, let's not knock up fellas. Let's go on with it. Thanks for that, Slim. That was very good. The scoreboard has been amended. Now the score reads correctly. 12-7-79, Masnod. Leader. St Andrews 5-7-37. A seven goal break, a 42 buff point buffer. That's what we're after, Slim. That's a nice way to go into the last quarter of a grand final. Certainly is, James. Certainly I'll stay is. here this year for the last quarter, Slim. Waiting for the bounce of the ball, the important last quarter. The red cherry show under the siren. Siren sounds. In the ruck, Peter Fitzgerald's a lovely bounce too to start the last quarter. Fitzgerald's up, no one gets a contest. Lucas locks it over his head. Mazelon have got the run, Hall's in there, gathers, he's up-handed, still running forward though is Rogers. Rogers got in the outer flank, screw it back a long way, he does a chip kick looking for Matthews. A bounce eludes him though, there's no one on deck for Mazenod, cleared by St Andrews. Go Grimo, go Justin Grimo. Justin Grimison goes out with a one hand, sticks the mid out, try two son. Burrows it, butters up, beats two players and takes it out of bounds. A nice confident start of the quarter for Mazenod James. Played well hasn't he Justin Grimison for a first year player in a big time game like this, a grand final. He's done a great job for them on the wing. He certainly has. The ball's thrown in by little Bluey. In she comes. Fitzgerald's up. He's battled well when he's been put into the ruck. Knocked out by another Bluey. Here's the best man for St Andrews. Shoots it out. Terry Lucas over the ball. Well balanced. Thumps it forward. Rogers and Matthews are in it. Matthews can't gather. Tries to knock it on. Hall's in there roving. The big man's after it. Tries to shoot out the handball. Well pressured by St Andrews. That won't put off Peter Hall. He's in there, but he's beaten this time. Adrian Green's got the box seat in the centre. Backs his judgment. Takes a lovely mark over the back in the centre. Adrian Green now. Maslin staying with desperation, James. Good to see. Love Looking it. down here for Matthews. It's over his head. Oh, it's through his hands. Well tackled by Smith. Could be holding the man. Yes, the ball was dispossessed and he didn't let go. I agree with that one, James. You would, Slim. You would. Anyway, they clear now from the half-back flank. Up towards centre wing. Jaxie again in position and again up high but doesn't hang on. Coxie down roving behind but chasing hard. He goes over again to pressure. Number seven hasn't been sighted much, gets one of his few kicks forward. Tiger Rogers drops what he could have taken. It comes out towards Toddy. Toddy's in there. Stewie McMullen, who's had a lot of possessions, his kick smothered. Comes back there, St Andrews dribble one through. That's the start they would have been looking for. Slim and the scoreboard now reads 12-7-79 to 6-7-43. But God, they need a lot more of them, Slim. They do. It's a good start from St Andrews. I'm sure that's exactly what the doctor ordered for them. But I don't know if they left their run a little bit too late. The time will tell. A nice six-goal buffer Maznod got at this stage. Leading by six goals and a Jimmy King Cotter through to the scoreboard. Maznod showing 12-7-79. Leading St Andrews 6-7-42. Back to the centre square. 43 slim. 43-6-7-43. Thanks, James. Back to the square. The umpire moves in. The TW goes straight up. Fitzgerald's caught off guard. Goes in there nonetheless. Fitz... Pa uh, Palomar taps it forward, gathered in well by Hamlin, who's on to the left, a wonky kick, Adrian Rogers is running free, gets a good bounce, waits for it, attack the ball, son, turns on his left, lines up the big oh. ones, oh! <laughs> the goal of the day, if you don't mind, Adrian Tiger Rogers, just what a sensational goal. Well, you won't see many better goals than that out here on the Zebra Sandringham football ground, will you, Jim? No, uh, you have to travel a long way to see him better than that, Slim. A good 40 metres out on the left, it didn't worry the young fella, he steadied, he saw the big sticks, and there was no doubt about that one, straight through the middle. Maznod now move on to their seven goal lead, they win the three quarter time. A nice answer, Jim. Oh, that's a great answer, Slim, that's an inspirational goal, that's what you're after. That's what you're after at this stage of a game. Whenever the opposition's throwing everything at you, you just look at them in the face and go bang. The umpire walks in, bounces it down again. Peter Fitz has given him a lot of lift up there, gets another knockout. Jimmy, great tackle. That's holding the ball for mine. No. Umpire calls play on and they get a chance to have another go at it, and they do. That's a good kick to position, and number 31 takes a mark. Jaxie found behind them, but you can't blame him. He's been running hard all day. She's up there, Stewie McMullen. Thanks for coming. Walks back into the pack. Takes a mark. Oh, he doesn't like who's he? Oh, no, Ryle's got heaps of time. Takes a mark. He's had plenty of kicks too. Slim hasn't he? He's played a great game. Certainly has, James Riles. Now, coming out the outer flank, picks out Jaxie. Jaxie up-handed, but the ball goes out of bounds, thrown in centre wing. Nice, good reply there by Maznot. Just from St Andrews showed they might have started a bit of a run on. Maznot steadied. Tapped out. St Andrews gather. Runs around. Long kick to the half-forward flank. Craig Todd lunging and runs on with it. Go, son. 
Gets it onto the boot, drives it forward to Rogers. Oh, drops what should have been taken, ran under it. 34 for St Andrews, lays it off. Running a bit well now, a bit better St Andrews. Poor disposal, those on down all day. Over the head of Robinson, they mucked it up there, no talk. Three onto one. Back there, Judgment Cox over runs it, picks up now, left foot. A rare poor passenger play there by Maznod. Three versus one, they lost out. Anyway, free kick now to St Andrews on centre wing. Grimison on the mark. Number eight for St Andrews will bring it back into play. Will he go direct or will he play the flank? Yes, of course he'll play the flank. It's a long way home, son. McMullen goes up, misses what should have been taken, comes out as Rogers, nowhere to go. To his brother, Adrian's in position. Up go the hands, he licks to fist it on. Fontanitis paddles towards the boundary, runs back onto the right. Nice handball to Grimison. Free kick, penalising Maznod that time, umpire. Never, never mind, comes back to Fontanitis. The captain coach of Maznod, his first year. Lovely pass to Terry Lucas. Lucas got it 60 metres out from goal. Plays on, looking for Matthews. A bounce will beat him. Palomar has got the run of the ball. Fumbles, picks up into the open goal. Bang. Lay down your glasses, son. That's a seal out of mine, Jim. Get the corks ready, Slim. Get them ready. The champagne's on ice. The champagne's on ice. Maslin now got an eight-goal lead. They go on to 14-7-91, leading St. Andrews 6-7-43. Lovely roving by Palomar. Oh, I has, it hasn't he done so well all day, Slim? He's been there from the first bounce, and he's still running hard now. Been it, Maslin's best player on ground to mind, Jim. What do you think? Oh, I'd have to almost agree with you, which hurts me a bit, Slim. I don't like doing it, but unfortunately I think you might be pretty close to spot on. The umpire now with the ball in the middle. Walks in. Maznod should be on a high now, should run all over them now, for God's sake. Up it goes, fits you up in the air again, doesn't win that one. Great smother to be doing that at this time of the game. Jaxie, of course, who else? Looks forward, no one there, and they mark. Terry Lucas standing the mark. There's the kick from centre-half back. They've gone wide again, they're incredible. Ah, oh, Robbo, great mark, great mark, Robbo. Play, been a great player, plays on onto the trusty left. And spears a pass to Terry Lucas, that was centimetre perfect. Terry Lucas over the ball. That's got to be a free kick to Hawley, I think. Oh, no. Free kick to Terry Lucas as, as the peanut gallery walk past. No to Hawley, as I call it. Uh, how dare I doubt myself. Hawley now. The long kick forward. Who's there? Woosher Matthews. Up he goes. <laughs> you don't mind. I hope we got a good one of that, Robbo. And anyway, over to Jimmy, who's playing on very well. This should suit Kate. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Mind. Jimmy Fontinitis on the left, 45 out, bangs it through. The captain coach, his first year down at Mazenod, and aren't the players elated. They're all running to, running to hug him. Shows the camaraderie of this side. Jimmy, good unselfish play there by Jeffrey Matthews. Oh, Lovely mark. Clever, clever, wasn't it? And the way Jimmy ran past, he, that's experience, Slim, because his legs can't do it, but his mind's telling him to do it. That's right, Jimmy. The mind's willing, the body's not. At his age, that's a great feat to be still running at this stage. Centre bounce now. The constabulary um, here is slim. Bounce to the ball. Fitzgerald in box seat again. Knocks it out straight to Fontinitis. Streams out of the centre. Tries to go too far this time. Hope they don't start lairising, Jim. Jaxi at the back. Punches. Well done. No one at the front of the pack. Off the ground by St Andrews. Going forward. Stuart Mullen streams through. Gathers now. Over the ball. Taps it on. Will go to the boundary. Picks it up. Oh, could be dropping the ball, Stewie. Yes, it is. Nice tackle by St Andrews player there. Bit unlucky, Stuart McMullen, but he's pinned. St Andrews now, left half forward flank, about 45 metres out from goal. Looking for a lead, finds one, over the back. Oh, misjudged by everyone, St Andrews players just popping in there at the end, take the mark some 30 metres out from goal. It's great to be able to enjoy the last quarter of a grand final, Slim. It's really good just to see Maznod just hammering away all day, persisting, 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 and they've knocked the absolute stuffing out of St Andrews. But uh, to St Andrew's credit, they haven't been absolutely humiliated, just humiliated. I think he's missed. No, he's put one through. Let's let's give him a little cheer. Yeah, the crowd agrees with me. And they move on to 7 7 49 to 15 7 97. That's an eight goal lead to Maznod, who have done everything right so far. Everything St Andrews have thrown back, Maznod have thrown twice as much back. The umpire now waiting for the ball in the middle. The player's looking tired. And wouldn't you, Slim, if you'd been running all day like this? I certainly would, Jim, but I think Mazin will bang on a few goals here. He's the last 10 minutes of the year before they launch their assault in VAFA. Their first year in here, they've done a wonderful effort to go from F to E grade. The committee of the club should be should be uh, praised as if the players. The ball You'll now. get the job anyway, Slim, next year. No need to start crawling. Enough of nostalgia. Play goes on. Hamilton picks up the loose ball, shoots it out. Rogers in front. Ooh, oh, he's 
Hasn't been compensating those overheads, Adrian Rogers. Nonetheless, played a great game. He's in after it. Could be appended. Umpire doesn't see it. But unlucky there, Adrian. Sold the dummy to St Andrews player. On to the left from behind Hamilton. St Andrews play on. Well marked, son. Running out that outer wing. Nice long kick. It's in the air. McMullen's under the pack and takes a nice mark. No, not oh, paid. I would have paid oh. it. Anyway, the umpire calls play on. I think he's trying to level up this game. A bit late now, Umpy. Throwing now right half back flank for Masnod. Umpire grabs the ball. The player's looking tight. They're just running on memory slip. They are. They're exhausted. The 36 blokes out. They've had a red hot dip all day. Anyway, the ball over there on the half back flank. And the umpire's. Pe oh, God, umpire. I know we're winning and we've got it won and parceled up and the champagne corks are popping, but still, give both sides a fair go. They'll go forward again through another free kick. I'd like to see the tally of them. Now it goes forward, it's punched away. Oh, oh Slim. Slim, try and help us through this bit, mate. You're one of the, their mob. Explain what he's doing. Oh, you're even starting to think like him, Slim. And the umpire waits for the ball again. This is St Andrews are still fighting it out, which I guess has got to be given a bit of credit to them for it because they have fought it out. Masnock could have absolutely whitewashed them, but um, to their credit, they've had a they've had a red a red hot dip all day, and um, Masnock now just got to keep going the way they are and the flags in the club rooms and let's lock them up this year. Anyway, the umpire with the ball now bounces it again. Fitzy again. Up again. He's done brilliantly in the ruck, Peter Fitzgerald. Comes out. Hawley tries to smother. Grimo's there. Onto the left foot he'll go. There's the kick and a free kick downfield. Yes, he saw it like I did. He saw it like I did. And that's great play. And good to see Peter Fitz over there congratulating him. That's good. Jimmy now from 50. Jimmy from 50 went to play on. But rather luckily, rather luckily, it's going to go back to Pella. Now, Pella, I'd feel is too far out to score. Oh, I don't know. He likes a goal, the young Robert Palomara. On Robbo Peggy. running into space, which is good, but they've caught onto it. I'd Bad luck. I'm in here, Jim. Palomara steady. He's 45 out. Runs in. Oh, he's gone the top. It's a nice long kick. Just misses the left-hand side. One behind. Mazin on 15, 8, 98. Leading St. Kevin's 8, 7, 55. Waiting now for St. Andrews to deliver the ball back into play. Doesn't know where to go, no options. Still looking. He'll go up the middle, I think, now. Coming out here to the oh, flank. Risky. Oh, risky. Very risky. Pete all has to beat three. Runs back into play. Does it well. Steadies. Oh, oh well, well started Grimmer. Justin Grimerson. Well battled, Mazda. They haven't given up all day. They've had numbers to the ball. They've done the hard things, which has set up a base for a nice big win here this afternoon. Throw in some... 35 metres around from Masnod goal. I can see the champagne wall right in front of me. Lucas slip. runs through. Grimerson could have been holding the man. Play on though. Handball to Palomara. Doesn't see the man behind him. Palomara getting a bit of rough treatment. Play goes on though. And McMullen comes out and takes a nice mark. Taking a lot of marks, hasn't he, Slim? Oh, he always does, Jim. Lays it off to Fitzgerald. Goes along at the outer flank looking for Rogers. Let's hope he can take this one overhead. Oh, second grab and has it. Well marked, Adrian Rogers. Certainly been a focal point there today, Jim. Ah, yes, hasn't he? What? Well, he's a very good player. He's good in the air and good on the ground as well. He's 40, 40 metres out. He, he should get the distance from there. He's a beautiful kick of a football. Oh, we'll just see what he does with it. He walks in. He's taken his six or seven paces. Leaned back on it a fraction. And Jeff Matthews has marked it. It's as easy as that. It's a simple game when you play it correctly. And Jeff Matthews now is marked on the boundary line. Oh, he's an acute angle. I'd definitely have a shot, Jeff. So would I, James. Let's see. We've got a bird's eye view here for the cameraman. He's walked around. And oh, missed. No, out of bounds on the full. That never looked like kicking it, Jim. Wasn't confident. No. Wasn't deliberate. Anyway. Played a very good good focal point too, Jeff Matthews. has been up Guido's about to quicker, kick it back in, Slim. Okay. Don't throw stones, you live in glass houses, Jim. Anyway, the ball <laughs> comes back into play. Nice long kick to the 50-metre line. Matthews sets himself. Ball goes over his head. St. Andrews has got the scouts on the ground. Masnod has been lacking that in the second half. Play goes on. Is anyone ball? Riley taps it out. Green's got the run of it. Bounce eludes him. Shoots out the handball to McMullen. Yet another possession. On to Riley. No, it's over his head. Terry Lucas over the ball, but the boundary line beats him. Throw in right half forward flank for Masnod. 
Score reading 15, 8, 98 to 8, 7, 55. It's a 43-point buffer. There's the throw in. No one there contesting. Fitzy caught out there for a change, but the umpire... I mean, the boundary line beats them all again, and the umpire has to say, look, fellas, give it back. We'll give it another go. And it goes again. Fitzy there this time contesting and should take the free... Oh, umpire. It's against Peter Fitzgerald. A bit stiff there, but still. There's the kick. Oh, it's off the side of the boot. Nothing unusual for their disposal today. That's a good handball, and they're running now through the centre. There's the kick towards the half-forward line. Cox, he's got a tough job here. He's on one of the best players in the comp. There he goes. Oh, he didn't pick it up. He didn't bend. Oh, but he's still got it back. That just shows you he is a very good footballer. And there's a good pass. Well spoiled by... Is that Tiger? There's the goal, shot for goal. Just offline. And it was Tiger Roger spoiling there. And it goes through for another point. Scoreboard reads Jim Maslon 15 8 98. Leading St Andrews 8 8 56. Waiting for the ball to come back through Tiger Rogers. Slim, your best players. Now while we've got a bit of time. In a moment, Jim. Ball goes out over Riley's head. Fitzgerald shows a burst of pace, taps it out in front of oh, him, well wins played. it out well. And handballs himself, a la Mickey Conlon. Can he butter up? He's running on. Rogers there, bends down, picks up with the one oh. hand. Handballs it out to no one. Didn't look, Adrian. Play comes out. St Andrews have got the numbers of the ball this time, but they fumble again. Doesn't really want it. Could be holding the ball. Holding the man. Pulled off the ball, rightly so. Should hold his jumper in that situation, not pull him off the ball. St Andrews now. Half-back flank side of centre. Sells the dummy well. Runs around. Runs around Jim. A wobbly looking kick, but falls in the arms of a fellow St Andrews player. Terry Lucas on the mark. Plays on. Another wobbly looking punt. Stuart McMullen, oh, no. Cox. Tiger Rogers, that Tiger was. Tiger Rogers fumbles what should have been taken. This is Adrian Green, the ever reliable back there. Switching it well was the call. The outer side of the ground, finding McMullen. He won't drop it. No doubt about his sturdy hands. McMullen, feeling confident to the left, finds Greg Smith. Could have been a bit high. Yes, umpire sees it that way free kick to Greg Smith. That shows the confidence they're playing with Slim, doesn't it? To centre it on the left foot like that, and he was under pressure, Bear. High kick there by Bear, like to see him lower. Rogers is up, so is Peter Hall. Juggles, a nice mark, three bites of the cherry, that's a mark. Peter Hall now, move it quickly, give Jeff Matthews a chance. He spotted Robbie Palomara in the pocket. Palomara takes a lovely mark. He'll be looking for the lead here. I hope they leave the corridor open, they do. Maznot aren't coming down, they form the wall. Jeff Matthews will be looking for a lead. St Andrews are keen to block up the corridor, though. No, I think he's going to have a shot. And why not, Slim? Palomara, very hard from that pocket to score a goal. He's gone close, though. Oh, punch through for St Andrews on the last line of defence for another behind. Mazon move on to 15-9-99, leading St Andrews 8-8-56. St Andrews now kick it back into play. There's the kick. It's a long kick, too. Robbie Palomara's got to do it in the air and not up to it there, which is understandable. St Andrews clear it now along the half-back line. Look towards centre wing. And the boundary line will beat all players. Actually, it beat them on the full, and it's out of bounds. And a free kick. Stewie will say thanks very much and go back and have a kick. Stewie now from the wing. Doesn't know what to do. He's using that left foot a lot today, and why not when you kick him like that? Straight down Riles' throat. Riles now, still on the wing. They didn't gain much, but they're just mucking around with them now. There's the kick down there. Jeff Matthews, no, didn't mark that one. Big deal. Fitzy off the ground. Bad luck. Out of bounds. Oh, no, he's seen a free kick. They're not happy about it. Argue a bit more. We'll have 50. No, Fitzy's in pain. For Fitzy to lie down, there must be something in it. I can't go along with what the St Andrews man is trying to say, Slim. Robbie Palomaro's got a second shot at goal from almost an identical position from the other one. That's a mistake by the umpire, oh, no, because it went out of bounds on the full, so it can't be downfield, yes. Well picked up, James. Goes back to Peter Fitzgerald. Got to help you, blokes. He looks all right to take his kick. A little bit groggy, but he's all right, the son. Tough nut in his shoulders. Fitzy now on the 50-metre line. Mazin leaving the forward line nice and open. The big big guns down there. Rogers, Matthews. Rod Matthews starts his run. He's blocked. He's held. Comes out to him, though. He's under it. Lovely, Mark Jeffrey Matthews. That is, they threw everything at him then, Jimmy, bar the kitchen sink. One in front, one behind. That was plugger stuff. That that was unbelievable. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Fergal, Sharky Matthews now. 30 metres out directly in front. Hasn't been too confident having a shot at goal today, Jeff. That's a nice looking kick off the boot. Not and there's no doubt, with that. No doubt about that one. Jeffrey Matthews straight through the middle. Maslin move on to... 16-9, leading St Andrews, 8-8, 56. Hang on, Jim, can you hear what I hear? Yes, they're popping already, James. The champagne over in the stands. I think they're calling it quits. They might have conceded. 
There they go again, James. All around the ground, the champagne corks are popping. Time time check, Jim. At 20 minutes in, Slim. About 20 minutes. Couldn't be long to go. There goes another two. Anyway, we'll get back to the ground. Go to the game. Peter Hall back into the ruck. Taps it out. St. Andrew's Shark at well. Their best player on the ground, 34. Drives it long. Rogers in the buck's seat and punches it clear, but to a nest of St. Andrew's players. Snaps well smothered there by Rogers again. Picked up by McMullen. Turns onto the right. Finds Riley. No, spills it. Must have wet hands out there, Peter Riley. Turns onto the left. They're doing what they want here. Finds Neil Robinson, who lays it off beautifully to Wayne Francis. His long kick towards centre half forward. Oh, almost a nice one headed mark pulled in there. They don't really know where to go here, St. Andrews. Oh, they're going towards the boundary. Oh, bad play there by St. Andrews. Anyway, it's gone out right. Forward pocket for Maznod, 15 metres around. The boundary umpire, oh, he was only about 80 metres behind that time. That's not too bad. He gets there eventually, huffing and puffing. Gets there, picks the ball up. Throws it back in. The Maznod forward lines function beautifully today. When you kick 16-9 on a day like today, there's the throw in. Bear should have got one a bit high for a free kick. That's over the ball, Bear. No, you tapped it out. Well done. Number eight gets the ball. No left side, so he goes for the hands. Over to number seven is their captain coach. He kicks it long and well directed too, wasn't it? And there it is, straight down Peter Hall's throat. Forget it, Hall. Just pass it. Lovely. Beautiful. To Jimmy. Jimmy says, excuse me. I'll get around both of you. Turn onto my left foot and kick it straight to them. But that's not too bad anyway. They'll clear the ball now. Great chasing Andy Hamilton. Great chasing. Now he's caught too. The tackling and chasing has been excellent. They're nine goals up and look at them. They're still having a red hot go. But here's Danger Man, number 34. He's trying to bring his other mates into the game. Great tackle, David Cox. That is unbelievable. But he'll, they'll still get out of it. They still got out of it with a goal. But the tackling and chasing was just exemplified then by Maznod. Yes, yeah, so it was well well tackled there by uh, Coxie, but I think it was a bit of a one-man bandit there. Not much support lent from his friends, but nonetheless, they can't be criticised, Maznod. They've turned it on here for the crowd today. It's been a wonderful effort by every player on the ground. I, I just hate to start mentioning him. Jim, I wouldn't know where to stop. Anyway, we've got after the game to do that. Back to this nice goal, 34 again. I'd, we've been wrapping up all day, but he certainly played well. I can see how he deserved his best and first for the competition. Maznod still holding a handy seven-goal lead. They bounce the ball in the middle. The TW goes up a little bit quicker into the hands of Robbie Palomara. Oh, he's grabbed when he's not in possession. He's still held not in possession. Play goes on. Comes out. McMullen's knocked Chilcott's back on the ground, Jim. Ah, oh, good, too. That's great to see. That, he deserves to be out there with the final bell, Slimbo. Plucked out a free kick to St. Andrews. Not quite sure what for. Under the left. Indirect football again. They're going wide. Been play all day. I don't know why. Tried to get around Riley. Maslin now closing in. Well tackled, gets his handball off straight into the hands of Peter Hall, who picks out Peter Riley, who should play on, or if he keeps his feet, no, he's down. Running the lens support was Peter Hall again. Handball's pressured. Scrambly play over there, Jim. Picked up by number seven for St. Andrews. In front, Adrian Green. The bounce beats him. Tim Chilcock coming through, looking a bit groggy still. Could have been held when not in possession. Play goes on. Knocked off the ball. Adrian Green's in there, as to is Robert Palomara. They elude both of those. St. Andrews go forward. No one really wants it out there, so... Bowing around, knocked out by Todd. Gets around, Grant Matthews is back on the ground. Dives in after it. Could be a ball up, could be holding the ball. Holding oh, the ball. Umpire. A little bit hard there on the man playing the ball, but yet that's been the pattern all day. They are trying to get the players to knock it out. Okay. Number 29 now. Lovely kick. Oh, nice mark there, St. Andrews, and it's been paid. Bit of arguing. Bit of arguing going on here at the side of the boundary line. Disgruntled St. Andrews player. Oh, oh, more arguing. Anyway, back to the game. St. Andrews got it 10 metres out. Few R8 supporters. Emotions, emotions running red hot here to Sandingham football ground. Anyway, St. Andrews have put it through. To St. Andrews credit, they haven't given up all day. They've been in there battling. Not at one stage they throw in the town. They should be credited for that too. So they get back within six goals of Mazenod. Mazenod now 16-9, 105. What's St Andrews score there, Jim? I think St Andrews have raced along to 10-8, 68. Slim, they've raced. Anyway, back to the centre bounce. Should be, what, five minutes to go? Uh, it's, yeah, it's just a matter of time. Yeah, that's all we're waiting for now. The death knell is ringing, Slim. <laughs> oh, it's, oh on it's on. No, Palomara. This would be an ugly way to end the game. 
Anyway, 69's back on Slim and Travel started. Is that just a coincidence or...? No, it could be. Not quite sure. This is stupid at the stage of the game. Umpire's right onto it anyway. Bounce to the ball in the centre. Paul running straight at the ball. Plenty of vigour in that charge. St right. Andrews get it out. They lay it off well. They are playing well in this second half. The kick goes on. It's on, it's on, Robbo. It's on on the centre wing. No, it's no. off again. I'll stay with the play, Jim. You report to me. No, I'll Ball spills out in a half forward flick. Tim Chilcott's after it. Ducks his head. Gets around. Lays off the handball. Maslin had the numbers. St Andrews did well. Another handball. St Andrews captain coaches a snap at goal. Curling around nicely. Touched on the line by the ever-reliable Tiger Rogers. Score now 10-9 to 16-9. An even six-goal break, which is really what the break they got in the first quarter, isn't it, Slim? Since then, it's been pretty even. Yes, I was all set up in that first quarter, I think, John. They, they caught St Andrews off guard. St Andrews have probably played just as well as Mazon since then, but they never really could get back into it. Oh, a high ball to Jim Fortinitis. No, thank you. Anyway, Grant Matthews is in there. I think Jim will have a few words to say to Tiger about that one. Number seven, Captain Coach St Andrews, out after it. Screws it, not far enough across his body, out of bounds on the full. Free kick there to Maslin, the back pocket. Jim Foninitis picks out Stuart McMullen, hits him on the chits. Stuart McMullen, lovely kick. Peter Fitzgerald from the back. Greg Smith shoots out the handball. Terry Lucas says, you go for it, Grand Old Shepherd, but the boundary line beats both of them. Throw in here, centre wing. The umpire now got it right in front of the Maslin Brains Trust. Tosses it in. There it goes, it's in the air. Free kick. Free kick to St Andrews. It's on the centre wing, the ball. There's the kick down to the half forward line. Shoe McMullen tries to spoil, but that's a good mark, and he plays on quickly, but Robbo was a wake up. Good play. There's a kick for goal, and there's a mark. He's now, oh, he's lining up number 14, he's 10, 15 yards out, so 15 metres, we'll use the metric, 15 metres out, on a slight angle, should have no worries with putting this one through. There's the kick, it looks good to me, Slim. For another one, saving a bit more face, Slim. Yes, as I said, they've batted on well, James, to no avail, really, they've been out skilled all day. Nonetheless, it's been a pretty long quarter, what would this be, about the 26 minute mark, Jimmy? Oh, should go any minute, mate, should go any You heard the corks about 10 minutes ago, didn't you? I think, hang on a sec, there's a few bottles of champagne coming around now. There they go again, Jim. It's been the last 10 minutes, it's been popping everywhere. All over the ground, I think it's all over. Back to the bounce, minutes to go. Seconds, slim seconds. Seconds, you reckon? Yep. <coughs> Let's hope it well ends in the good sportsmanship it has been played all day. The ball goes up, favouring Mazenod. Peter Fitzgerald out of position, picked up by seven. He's played a good game. Jaxie misses a bounce. Slew's clear. Jaxie sticks out the mitt. Can't get it. St Andrews driving four, but there's Neil Robbo. Shoons out a blind handball. Unluckily. Mazenod got the numbers, but just around the ball. They're not quite on it. Smith's in there. Well, good play by the captain coach of St Andrews. who gets it out. Just travels at ten metres required, and they've got it right half forward flank. Move it quickly. The man at the back of the pack's got his eyes all over this one. Wells Paul McMullen, followed up by Terry Lucas. He overruns it. Oh, it's a, looking for the man in the pocket. He's found him loose. Well smothered, David Cox. Oh. He's been penalised. Bit unlucky, but... I thought he did everything right then, Slim. I really did. So did I, but a fair way from the ball here, Jim. The umpire's only a good five yards away from it. Number 34 now. Best and fairest in the comp. Lining up now. This will be the closest they've got all day if he puts this through. Make it a four goal difference, but I mean, time's definitely going to beat them. The, the flag's Masnodes, but he's gone for the pass, and it was a good one, as we'd expect from him. And Coxie doing the right thing, stopping him running around. The umpire's now blowing time on. He has his shot from 25 metres out on the boundary line. He plays on, runs around onto the left foot, kicks. One behind. So the score now 11 9, 75. St Andrews to 16-9, 105. That's an even five-goal break. That's a nice margin to win a grand final by Slim. Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed in this last few minutes. Maslin have been a bit flat-footed, although St Andrews are really battled on well. They've picked up their game just a little bit too late. Anyway, Tiger Rogers to return the ball back into play. There's the kick now. He looks for someone. Who's he found? Not Peter Riley again. God, he, he's knocked up getting kicks. There's the kick into the pocket. Timmy Smith, very intelligent. Chilcott, Chilcott. Timmy Chilcott. Sorry, Slim. I'm a bit tired. Anyway, the umpire now in front of the Finney sign, sign throws it in. 
It's on the beach road side of the ground. Over the top. That's a good handball. That's an intelligent handball. Straight to Timmy Chilcott who gets tackled as he gets it. There's another goal, I think. Yes, it is. So it's 16-9-105 to 12-9-81. This is a long quarter slim, but the game definitely in our keeping. But uh, St Andrews, you've got to admire them, really. They have fought it right out, haven't they? They have indeed, Jim. They could have thrown the towel easily at the start of this quarter. Maslin got those two quick goals, but you see goals like KB's goal and Jimmy's goal, and that's enough to dishearten any side. But to their credit, they've um, kept fighting it out, and uh, they're finishing on top of Masnod, actually. It's the closest they've been all day, is that right, James? Yes, it would be, Slim. I'd have to say you're right again there, mate. Anyway, back to the centre. The umpire's all ready to toss the TW high up into the clouds. But there she goes, and a lovely bounce it is. Fitzgerald again wins the tap out. Who's there? Fontinitis brushes off two people. Grant Matthews running. This will test him. Oh, it's a high ball to Palomara. Palomara's got the sit closely checked. Rogers taps on. Oh, bad luck. Palomar was looking hungry there, but the boundary line beat them all. Good defence by St Andrews. Throw in here, 50 metre line, all about 45. Madison's left half fort flank. Let's see if they can finish off with a goal here, Jim. Umpire yeah. signal time on. Couldn't be long to go, Slim. Bluey throws the ball in. Peter Hall put in hard all day. Barry round. It's a high ball. Andrew Hamilton's under it. And takes a lovely mark. Oh, it comes a little bit of treatment there. But not to worry, the ball's still yours, son. You know that, Andrew. Very wise, experienced head in his shoulder, Andrew Hamilton, for a young lad. That was a great mark, Slim. He judged that to perfection, and he's going back now. He's 40 to 45 metres out from goal. I think a tad too far out, but I've been wrong before, believe it or not. And uh, he's going to give it his best shot anyway. We're going to finish in darkness here, Slim. I don't know what it looks like on the set, but believe me, it's dark here. I don't know what the monitor's doing. There's the kick, I tell you what. He's made a liar out of me. That is straight through the high diddle diddle, and the nods go to 17-9, 111 to 12-9-81. That's a five-goal lead again, and that was a beautiful goal, Slim, wasn't it? That's not the first time you've been wrong, Jim. Anyway, I'd hate to count the lovely kick by Andrew Hammond. I was about to say it's a nice long kick, but I didn't want to throw my two bob in. Okay, lovely young promising player there, Andrew Hammond. Lovely kick. It's good to finish off with a goal. Back to the centre. Seconds remaining, Jim. Seconds. The TW launched up into the clouds again. Fitzgerald, everyone misses that time. Sharked out well by St Andrews. Number seven captain coach played a good game. Tiger Rogers under it. Leave it's a call by Timmy Chilcott, who takes a timely mark back down there, about 40 metres out from St Andrews goals. Looking for Terry Lucas. He lets Peter Fitzgerald go for it. Peter Fitzgerald's played a very good game today since he's been thrown to the ruck. He's answered a call of responsibility. Rogers is under it. Well judged there by St Andrews. The wind's playing havoc out there in their judgment, Jim. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. That, that KB was in the right position initially, but the wind just blew it over his head. Anyway, it's on centre wing now. He plays on, he goes wide again. They've done that all day. It's wide. Grant Matthews, great mark. And 50 metres. No, the umpire didn't see it that way. And um, there's a kick to the centre of the ground. It's over the back. KB Rogers with a chance. Tripped maybe. No, the umpire calls play on. That's holding the ball for mine if you're consistent. Oh. Uh, the umpires must grab their jumper, Jim. If they jump in on top of them like that and contest it, it can't Why be would the, the umpires ball. want to grab their jumper, oh, Slim? The players must grab their jumpers. That's quite clear-cut rule. If you can't see that, get out of the commentary box. The cherry's thrown up in the air. Peter Hall jacks it up. Knocked on by Palomara. The run here, Lucas. Hamilton. Quick snap. Rush snap. Better bounds on the full. There and there's is. a siren. It's all over. Maslinod wins the F-grade ESCFA Premiership. Their first year in the competition. Final scores, Maznod 17-9-111, beat St Andrews 12-9-81. A resounding five-goal victory. Scoreboard shows Maznod played over top of them all day. The, the win was probably a bit bigger than what the scoreboard shows. Best players for the game, James Jarrett and Sincotta. I would like to individualise. I mean, Maznod had their good players, sure, but when you play in a premiership, you need 20 contributors. And that's what Maznod had out there today. Whereas with the opposition, number 34 stood out, number 22 stood out. Seven. Number seven stood out. But other than that, they were a pretty begraggled lot, the Alps and Andrews boys. And Maznod was a great team effort. All right, then. We will signing off here at the Sandringham Football Ground on today, the 9th of September. The F grade VAFA Premiership. Jimmy Cup. getting the recognition he well and truly deserves. First year at the club Premiership. You can't ask much more than oh, that. Oh, no, we can't speak too highly of Jimmy Fontenot. His Both. first year down at the club. 100% success rate, one year, one premiership. Both him and Kingy should be very proud of their efforts and the whole club should be as a whole. Yeah. Anyway, we're signing off now. We've enjoyed the day immensely. Hope you have.
still doing that again, nice. Robbo. Oh, thanks, man.